So we're gonna go here to Manor. Maybe we'll find something here. Maybe vampires. That would be cool. Penitence missive. To all people living outside the walls of Fort Jericho, attacks have been endured on our fellow members and safety has been decreasing rapidly. What we already have been through does not allow us to send troops deep inside the lands. We urge you to join us to take shelter in Fort Jericho, where we, where we gather resources and food. No exceptions will be made as the safety of all depend on our administration. Every man, woman who is old enough and fit to fight should join at the fort as soon as possible. Captain Saul Pennington, Fort Jericho. Light estate. Is that glowing dead? Oh, there's a chest. Okay. Also, yesterday while I was doing the collecting stuff, Antia gave me such a freaking scare. Because <laughs> somehow, I don't know, she glitched. She glitched to my camera being like this. You know, because I was very, cl for some reason, my camera was very close to red. And she suddenly spawned inside him. And he just, you know. Just need a T at the end of the blight, blight is the. No, it's blight. It's, it's not blight. It's blight. Estate. <laughs> it is blight estate. Yes. Also, one thing I want to talk about. And I am upset that I didn't talk about it because here's the thing. They did incredibly good with the navigation system in the game. And what I'm talking about is that when you click on something you want to track, Yes, I was very upset with spaghetti. So, for example, I would always like, oh no, I don't know, how do I get there again? You highlight it. Plus the map. And now you see it at the top there. So, usually in games, you know that icon just moves around, it doesn't tell you anything where to go. And you're like wondering like, oh, but that's not showing to where, where it is. Exactly. That thing, the map at the top, is working as a navigator. It shows you the path to follow, so basically we would be following where it goes. And it shows you where it is. It doesn't work as showing the direction of the... What's it called again? You know, north, south, east and west. No, it works as a navigator. And I didn't realize it until now. <laughs> didn't realize it until now yesterday i was like oh oh god oh we actually have oh my god we also have this i didn't realize we have world completion we have 50 percent in oh okay oh oh <laughs> I'm almost done with treasure hunts and lost chests. I assume it's the one yellow lost chest or something, but then again, I haven't been. There's one more scourge for me to do. Region accomplished. Oh, these are region. Okay. <sighs> well. Okay. Yeah, it gives you the certain point to walk, then moves again. Yeah. It's so clever. 100 points. To the developer, don't nod. It's amazing. They did amazing with that. It's perfect. And I am so upset at myself for not noticing it earlier. Because <laughs> I was getting so much lost. And I was complaining about the mines and everything. You, it also guides you through the mines. I tested it yesterday because I was doing, like, you know, the, the check. The last part of the... Go ghost haunting yesterday as well and it guides you through the mines as well 
and it shows you which elevator to take, it shows you where which path to take, everything, and I'm like, oh my god. Oh, I'm so angry. Um, another thing. Corpses. We could manifest what hides here. I recommend you to do, if you play the game, just activate these, but don't do the ritual. If you don't want to do the ritual the challenge right away, just activate it that you have the ritual circle. Because then it will show you on the map what it is. If you don't go and touch it, if you have just seen it, it's not gonna register it that you have you know what it is. And then it's gonna just show up as a question mark. And if you're later on like going around like, oh what's that question mark? And like you forgot what it is. Like me. <laughs> Like me doing yesterday, and I found multiple of these challenges. They were I just forgot to click on them, apparently. But yeah, click on them. You don't have to do the ritual, and then it tells you what it is. But they also show on the map what you need to activate the rewards. Yes, that's the cheat. I kind of feels like a cheat, because like here it says it's an elite, so it could be the scourge kind of thing. It could be. But might not be. <laughs> but this one, it literally says Scourge. Uh, I think it might also be Harvester, maybe. And here it says a nest. A nest is the one that you use for multiple, for the middle one, which is the manifest things. Hey, Kelsey Wipes, how are you doing? So, yeah, but yeah, touch them, and then you can hover your mouse over it, and you see what you need. And you see what's the reward. And the developers were so smart, and I'm just, I have been just so dumb. I, I have been just so dumb. And I feel so bad for them that I was being dumb. Exactly. Is it just me, or? I felt it too. Hi, Lovey, how you doing? Are you feeling better? Fucking rip it, I guess. No? You had chest infection. Oh no, Cozy. You sick too? Oh no. I hope you feel better soon as well. Hey, Patty. How are you doing? Uh, sleepy Patty has already put the washing out, taking bins out in the rain. I'd wonder yell at you for a second breakfast. Good job on adulting, Patty. Good job. Well done. Take people going to cry this time. Of my... Of my what? My burn? He killed me. He killed me! We should probably go talk to her husband. Hi. Hey, it's before. How are you doing? This time of the year. Ah. <laughs> it's fine, lovey. It's fine. I hear, I hear, I hear the orb whispers. Why is it? How are you doing, SP4? I hope you are well. I hope you are not sick. That we have a pat command. Also, such things of fish. Now, because you gave Landa some tuna, but I'm sure she enjoyed it. Also, if someone. I thought he was dead, but then he started moving. <laughs> also, if someone missed out, yeah, I did uh, collect some chests and all that yesterday. Uh, so, I do have. I have upgraded my gear and I have other weapon. But I'm a little sad because it that my sword doesn't have the thingy guard anymore. 
<clears throat> You're doing well, thanks. Uh, yeah, I'd rather say, how am I? I'm good. I am having a little bit rough growth the day this morning. I don't know why, but I'm sure it will pass. <laughs> this starts down with a sickness, start playing your hand. Wonder why. Hmm. If by any chance someone missed the announcement and that, I, that I mentioned about it last week, and this week, the droplets have been reset today. Just be aware. And we know was picked earlier, half hour ago or so, I don't know, something like that. Uh, winner was po winner was posted. Winner was posted on Discord, yes. And uh, after that, I reset it. And it shows who was the top. So now you are got you if all we are. Say we have no sin. We deceive ourselves. The truth is. is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most epistle of John, I believe. Chapter one. The verse escapes me. Five, is it? Eight and nine. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. That's verse five. You've not come back at the best of times, Redmond Wraith. I'm in no mood to chat. Have good luck, Cozy. I hope you feel better soon. Go see a doctor if you haven't yet. Please, go see a doctor. But yeah, what I was saying is that... Uh, Actually, I don't know what I was saying. Anyway, yeah. it's It was posted on Discord as well. <laughs> Where's Abigail? Also, I think we met John before in the New Eden, because he looks familiar. I think we did. And Abigail probably too. We probably did meet him. Is your wife around? I haven't seen her. Abigail is dead. Ah. I'm sorry. Truly. Thank you. Let's leave it there. Whatever you heard, it's not true. You're gonna go up for a bit as well. To spend the rest of the day on self anyway, and watch CSI or something. Do that, Lobby. Do that. And I hope you feel better soon as well. Please, please, people, take care of yourself if you have been sick and not feeling well. I appreciate you all being here, but yes, do take care of yourself. <laughs> what would I have heard? I trespass on your grief. What would I have heard? What would I have heard exactly? Don't mock me. I know what they say about me. I know what you all say. It was an accident. A terrible accident. I'll speak of it no more. For someone who just lost his wife, he's awfully nonchalant. You know how you feel? How did she die? An accident? How did she die? She fell. She went to the cliff top and slipped and did not survive the fall. Now, leave me be. He's shutting down. We need a lever to prise him open. You need to prepare for a work meeting. All right, let's be far. I hope the work meeting goes well. Thank you for being here. He pushed her? I don't know. I feel like he didn't. It might have been someone else. I feel like there's probably a third person involved. I feel like there's a third person involved. Easy as pie. Nah, but you can't cook. <laughs> Yeah, you thought so early that he killed her. Hmm. I think... I think he didn't. I think there's someone else. Third person. John's Bible. Uh, First Corinthians. Uh, Let the husband render unto the wife due to benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife hath no power over her own body, but the husband, and likewise also husband hath no power over his own body, but the wife. Defraud ye, 
the fraud year not to one the other, except with constant for a time that you may give yourself fasting prayer and come together again that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. Do not deprive one another. Puritan prayer and mandatory marital sex. Quite the life. Place is awfully tidy. Since when do you care? Says the untidiest woman ever to walk this earth. No, there. Spectral stains about the bed. Our ghost must manifest at night. Employment contract to Mr. and Mrs. John Rumble, made in New Eden, New England, Port December, 1686, under the jurisdiction of Master Brigham. On this fourth day of December, 1686, agreement made to exchange the price of journey from New from York, England to New Eden, New England for five years under Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Blight as foreman and in the Blight Mines and servant to Blight household, that is to say, the fourth day of December 1691. All of whom have signed to mark with the ordinary marks this day and year above, and the, and the said contract shall remain in the hundreds of Mr. Brightham until the end of the term of contract. Signature of Blight and Rumble. And people think he did. Yeah, but people are wrong. People can be wrong. That's how the rumors start. That's how the rumors start. Because, uh, you know, people start spreading them and then it grows more and more. Uh, Governor's Letter, 6th January 1695. My dear John, despair not. Satan tempts us, it is true, but our Lord has created no sin that we cannot surpass. Marriage can be difficult, but we should not forget to surrender our hearts to God. He is with us. He is always with us. But I want to reassure you, these unspeakable sinful dreams you speak of, these impure thoughts, are not that serious. You feel guilt, and that is the most important. Our Lord made us weak. It is our nature. You must pray and listen to him. He will not. He will answer you like he always do. And as you, and, and as a friend, I would like to tell you that I am sure that sooner or later you and your wife will lay together again. Or, and I know you will not hear of it, you will divorce. We are his lambs and his, he guides us through our temptations. Sincerely yours, Fair ha Fairfax Haskell. Seems Abigail had abandoned the marital bed, and it vexed him. That's not the Puritan way. I feel guilty he dreams began before her death. John's dirty dreams began before Abigail's death. Makes sense, if he was going without. Naughty. He used by servants at the blind manor. An old key. Convenient. With luck, it'll fit a door at Bly Manor. We're just, you know, casually just taking a key from someone's house. Borrowing it, chat. Remember, the we are borrowing. Stamped this place with its presence and left a trail. Yes. Uh, I know we have to follow that, but there's still stuff for us to look around here, I think. So just to make sure we find everything. I hear ghost noises. Voices from the dead report here. Part of the story is waiting to be revealed. All right, chat. There's gonna be noises. Just, just remember. There's gonna be noises, probably. A lot of noises. A scale foga smile. Will 
you stop walking away from me each time we are to converse? This is not conversation, Abigail. We do not converse. Not no more. You berate me, you belittle me, Abigail. I... I walk away. You don't care. You don't care about me. You don't care about our life together. I gave it all up to follow you to this godforsaken place and you don't care if we belong. We are trapped here! I could die and you not blink That's an eye. That's right! I don't care! I don't care about none of it! Why don't you just troop off and kill yourself? And give me some goddamn peace! <laughs> oh. 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 Not a very nice man, turns out. Not a very nice woman. Not a very nice woman, either. And yet she's the one who shows up dead. I still think there is someone else involved. What's this? Marriage contract on the 13th day of March, 1665, at St. Thomas Third, Ops... Ospaldwick, York. Appearing in person, John Rumble, son of Alden Rumble and Plyth Rumble... Plyth Rumble... Ne... Leighton. Living at Oswald Wick and Abigail Walker, daughter of Odo Walker and the late Ra Rachel Walker, born Morris, living at Oswald Wick. In which John Rumble and Abigail Walker in their... In their will have observed and signed the committee agreements of obligation of associations that follow. John Rumble agrees to take as... Agrees to take as spouse Abigail Walker, as Abigail Walker agrees to take husband John Rumble at St. Thomas Church, Oswald Wick, the city of York. North Yorkshire, England. The, the state future will the sweet state future wife will establish her home from the day after the wedding at the house of her future husband. The state future wife future wife <laughs> the state future wife will bring all her goods and furniture, providing a contribution for the purpose of receiving her share. According to customs of the committee of Oswaldwick, your around the dissolution of this marriage by death, the future wife will have the choice to stay or leave the community. Done in the represent done in the presence of Maud Rumble, cousin of Run John Rumble, Alden Rumble, Blythe Rumble, born Leighton, and Hadley Walker, Hoover and brother Abigail Walker and Odell Walker, all living in St. Parish. February 20th, 1664. My dearest Abigail, I think of the day we first met in Selby. Of that moment our eyes met and I knew there and then that I had found the person who I was going to spend the rest of my life with. That you have accepted me is the most beautiful thing that has happened in my life, and I know the rest of it, it will be even more beautiful. I can live together with you and not, or, nor, or not at all. Ever thine, ever mine, ever ours, ever ours, John. April 15, 1664. My dearest love, you cannot know how much I miss you and how much I wish you were here. The day passed so slowly when you are not with me. Each time, each, each while I pass thinking of you, I find I adore you even more. I hope you will sit thrall safe and come back to me as shining lovely as you ever are. I pray to our Lord every day for you and I know he hears me. Please come back quick. I cannot wait to marry you. Nothing will separate us again. Ever thine, ever mine, ever ours, Abigail. December 3rd, 1664. My dearest Abigail, you cannot imagine how happy I was to read your words. The work here is difficult and painful, but when I think about you, my heart is warm. I cannot wait to take you in my arms. I will write to you again some day, hence, some days hence. Ever thine, ever mine, ever ours, John. You were very much in love once. Well... That changed. Abigail's clothes, already packed. Everyone grieves differently. I know. Yeah, that's like, you know, everybody grieves differently. And sometimes it's very difficult for people to understand everybody do it differently. Let's ask John about it. Hi. What do you want? 
He told Abigail to kill herself. It's one thing to argue with your wife. It's another to push her over the edge. Abigail was in distress. Yet all you could offer in loving kindness was to tell her to kill herself. Abigail had an accident. A terrible accident. I love my wife. I loved her. The man doth protest too much, methinks. Or Abigail might have been ready to leave, maybe. But I don't think I don't think John did it. Something else happened. Your marriage was troubled. You argued with Abigail. Threats were made. Fair to say your marriage was troubled, yes? Not your business. That's fair to say. Step carefully. Keep him talking. Do you have children? Does praying help with your loss? I think there might be that they were unable to have children. You have Abigail met in Shelby. You met Abigail in Selby, I believe. I... How do you... How could you know that? You've been prying. How dare you? Your house is haunted. Your wife. We want to help. My wife is gone, and you know nothing of my troubles. I punched the microphone, but luckily it was muted. <laughs> I just punched it fully. <laughs> How nice did I read and John have snow on them? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Are you troubled by your dreams? You troubled by your dreams? Perhaps I could help. Oh, I doubt that. Abigail might have helped, but it's too late for that now, eh? I don't sleep good. But my head is clear. People are tense, but we cope. We always do. Do you, really? Tell me more about Abigail. Was Abigail's faith important to her? Tell me more about Abigail. Tell me more about Abigail. God gave her more wits than most. But she wasn't shy about it. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, I tell her. She had too much passion. She dwelt in earthly desires. And that's a problem how? When she stopped attending worship, I knew she was lost. So is he saying that she was just very horny? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I give you your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. I'm confused. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I like how Antia was like, and that's a problem. How? <laughs> Maybe I remember I had to stop going to worship. In fact, I'm and John Rumble told her wife Abigail to kill herself. John Rumble was frustrated because his wife Abigail was to lie with him. That's fair. No wonder she's so frustrated about it. They were still married, you know, she's I find John's that. opinion of Abigail condescending. All he does is blame her. Never questions his own behavior. He can't admit he lost control. He doesn't know how to grieve. He can't admit. He's a man who lost control and can't admit it. Of course he blames her. He's an ass. Yeah. Uh, we have seen worse people. We have definitely seen worse people in here. Kind of want to go to mines, but also... How deep does it go? Looks bad and deep, so... Let's not go explore that yet. I think it might be part of the quest to go there. There's a camp place for us. Yay. Also, flowers for us. Me. This would do nicely if I wanted to put my legs up. Yep. Just unlocking this.
Yay! Another one of the bow balls. I wonder how many I have of them, because I know there's an achievement to find all of them. Where's the fire inside the fireplace? Isn't. To keep the floor warm? Clearly. Mm hmm. Checking if there's something. Why is she in this hole? Where are we going? This Where are we going? John mentioned. Watch your step. I still don't believe she. Uh, I don't believe that John killed her. What do we have here? A safe haven, shelter from the turmoil. Abigail's diary. Uh, I recently met someone. Things are going from bad to worse with John, and I can't stand being alone with him. So in these times of doubt, it's good to have someone to support me. She understands how I feel, my pain and anger, and she doesn't judge me. She listens to me. That makes me feel good. I said there's a third person! I said it, chat! I said it. <laughs> I knew it. Looks like she fell from here. We should go down, inspect the place. My heart sinks when I look at him, and I can't help but wonder, do I still love him? I'm burdened and ashamed and guilty because I don't love him. And yet I do. I don't care that we are childless. I don't care that we are poor. It was always the two of us. That was our promise to each other. He's from Broken Mirror. Who was she talking to? Abigail wasn't alone. Who was with her? I wonder what they were saying. Perhaps we'll find answers at the bottom of the cliff. We need to look for somewhere to cross. I know. It's okay, Aunt. Yeah, I know. There's wines. I can go from here. Well, I also want to check if there's something here. Or is this actually the Okora path? I don't know. Let's hear the ivy. What a sight to behold. Wasn't I always? See? It was good that I went this way first, because there seems to be a rope spot here. Oh! Why was there a rope ready here? I'm ready to shoot the infested roots after you yeah. raise the heart. Let's see. Okay, so there is one. There is one, and there's third. I 
think there's three of them, because I found out that there was one with five when I was doing the collecting the chests earlier yesterday. That is why they pay me good money. Yeah. Oh my god. She directly on that? Yeah, I know I know we can go from here, but I wanna know what's why is what's there the ghost teleportation thing then? I hear you. Where are you? I hear. Sounds like it's behind the cliff there. Yeah. <laughs> the ghost orb. No, no, ghost orb doesn't go. I don't know what that was. That was a bad one. That was a bad. But why? Why do we have path to here? From here? Oh no, I hope this nobody attacks me. There's more of them. It's a plot, man! Also, yes, anti is quite strong now. Look to me. Yeah. Yeah, I managed to gather the stuff, uh, the chests and do the challenge yesterday, so I was able to level up the gear. So now we are back being a little bit more strong. Uh, Maybe you can get through the ghost jump me. point? Could be. Although I feel like I heard that Ivy is still going. That's dead Ivy. I don't know. Let's see. Mm, true. A man who offers only disdain is owed no loyalty. Remember what he promised when you came to New Eden. He is a failure of a man. He puts you down to raise himself up. Don't be his weakling, Abby. Act. Who was that? Hello? <laughs> broken Mirror is a piece from Broken Mirror. <laughs> Reassembled Mirror. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. A resemble mirror, a finely craft mirror, which uncannily resembled itself when the two halves were put together. It looks unused, but bears the inscription, Ethoplite. Ooh. This mirror is tainted with essence of a malignant spirit. Once closer has been formed, this essence will ultimately be consumed by Antia to make her stronger. Ah. Uh, the other side of the conversation. Those mirrors feel like ghost ties, but I don't think they are. There's an inscription, Ethel Bly. There may be answers at Bly Manor. <laughs> going to the manor chat. I wonder who Abigail was talking to. She sounded devious. Devious? Who benefits from that? Devious or supportive? Who benefits from that? Who benefits from belittling a servant? Lover? Jealous friend? Something worse? Uh, serenity of Deborah or is Abigail possibly possessed? Um... I feel like it didn't sound like Debra or the Nightmare. I feel like it was someone completely new, which is probably it is. It seemed like it was the uh, Ethel Plight, so 
The lady of the house? Banishes. Ah! At last you're here. You speak. I speak and I follow. I needed to be sure you'd take my side. <laughs> you're clipping that. We don't take sides. I mean, yeah, I got spooked by a ghost. <laughs> you don't take sides, Mr. Rice, to see me. We're banishers. We don't take sides. So noble. You must feel so very fortunate. Why well, manifest now? What happened to you about the mirror? Why well, manifest now? What's with the hide and go seek? Why manifest now? I'm stronger now. Stronger? How? Oh. What's your reckoning, Banisher? Oh, Abigail, what did you do? Why are you stronger? <laughs> you infect John's dreams, you plague John's mood. No, he already had the dreams before. You plague John's mood. I reckon John's melancholy isn't just down to grief. I reckon it's down to you. John has only ever felt sympathy for himself. He's a lonely, bitter excuse for a man. Don't indulge it, Red. I died at the bottom of that cliff, you know. I was alone for hours. In agony. No one missed me. No one came. John did not come. I thought John was the one who pushed you. Didn't he? Even before my death, he packed my bags. He wanted me out. I did not know how badly his hatred burned. But when he saw me dead, I saw it in his face. Behind the shock, he was relieved. I don't believe it. I, I don't... I don't believe it. <laughs> I think... I, what I want to say, or what I think, uh, is that John still cared for Abigail, and they were still they were going just bad, and he maybe he backed her up stuff that she wanted them to leave from there, because he seemed like because it seemed like she was starting to, uh, well, to him it seemed like you know that she was not being herself anymore, which might seem might which might be because of the. Maybe there's all the ghosts that might be the Ethel. It's Ethel, just <laughs> it's the <laughs> it's the it's the um, oh my god, what's it called? He's still supposed to he had an affair. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, what was Ethel? A witch, hag. <laughs> Ethel is the hag. Maybe maybe the hag is here. Um, and. I don't know. Maybe he maybe he wanted to change things that that they would have moved away from here. Because it seems like many wanted to leave from here. Well, I mean, obviously, he didn't, doesn't seem to be a very good place and start anew. But he didn't want to tell her or something. I don't know. But I don't think. I think. I think John is grieving. But he just doesn't want to show it. I have seen people like that who are just like, you know, they just have like their face. Like, they don't show it. They just suffer in silence, basically. And I don't think he hated Abigail. I don't think he did. He wanted maybe them to get back to what they were or something, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, out there tell me it's lotions and potions. Yeah. What happened to you? What happened to you, Abigail? What do you think happened? We're asking the questions here. Are you? So, what happened to you, Abigail? A man happened you to me. You know how, yeah. A bitter, pitiful world happened to me. I had a life in Yorkshire. Work I loved. I never wanted to come here. 
That doesn't entirely answer the question. You're a capable woman. Were, as were you. So how did you allow a man to bind you to this realm? You first. <laughs> I am not bound here by the weakness of a man who cannot let me go. I feel like someone's influencing you, Abigail. <laughs> About the mirror. We found pieces of a mirror that used to belong to you. Give them to John. By rights, the mirror is his. You hate John, but you want him to have your things. Isn't that just a little contradictory? You're a ghost haunting a banisher. Isn't that just a little contradictory? How was it for you? To die, I mean. I'm not discussing this with you. Betrayed. Again. Failed. Again. Making excuses for the one you love. Again. What? No. And how did it feel to be deceived by your best friend? By your first love? Enough. Who found your body? Who found your body? Who told John about your... fall? I don't recall, but does it matter? One moment I was alive and lost in thought, the next I was dead and bound to John. And to him, my death felt... Good. The deepest comfort. Solace most profound. I felt those feelings. But those feelings were not mine. We aren't going anywhere. We'll keep digging. Yes. Do that. That was odd. She was odd. A dead woman with a shite bag husband. Nothing odd about it. You never miss a chance to drag the husbands down, do you? Excuse me? I... Let's just move on. Yes, let's... Red is not wrong about that! <laughs> Red is not wrong about that, though. And here does do that. You're innocent. It was a spirit of Fritz being the imposter. Of course. Sure. Because I'm like trying to think, like, if the only comfort he actually felt the vice was because he noticed that she was being very unhappy. So maybe he wanted her just to be happy and then like he was hope I don't know. Because she died, he was hoping that maybe maybe she's happy now. I don't know. I don't know. But I still don't think it's a, yeah, I don't think he did it. It's something to do with the uh, Ethel. Or what was her name? <laughs> I think it was Ethel. Uh, I can see. Ethel, like, yeah. I keep saying Ethel now because, you know, <laughs> that's the name I will remember easily. Hey. What do you want? Does this mirror mean anything to you? Does this mirror mean anything to you? <laughs> Never thought I'd see that again. That was Abigail's. Where did you find it? At the cliff, where she died. I see. Where'd she get it? Any idea where she got it? it looks old. Heirloom, maybe. She found it in the woods. Kept it with her. I remember it because... We fought about it that night. We were low on money and I wished to sell it. She would not have it. Her vanity got the better of her. Is he lying? I can't tell. The inscription on the mirror suggests it once belonged to your old employers. I don't know anything more. 
Abigail said she found the mirror in the woods. I have no cause to doubt her. I swear it. I think she was... I don't know what you call it, possessed? Isn't possessed that if you are, like, taken over by the ghost? But I think she, the Ethel Plight might have been, you know, latched onto her. But nice looking mirror in the woods could never be cursed as such. Yeah. Miguel's ghost has latched onto you. I'll not be about the bush, John. You're haunted. Your emotions are a shambles. And Influence her thoughts, ghost yeah. ghost has latched onto them. You feel like shine, and that'll be why. Don't deny it. And I know you won't wish to hear it, but I've been sent to help. Trust me. Abigail died. She died. She can't come back. It's a trick. The devil's trick. He took her, and he's trying to trick me too. Now I'm trying to speak for you. Why are you trying to convince? Who are you trying to convince? Who are you trying to convince? Me or yourself? Look inside you, John. You know the truth. God is truth. The devil had a hold on my wife. He's a tough nut. Squeeze hard. <laughs> we... I don't think you're supposed to squeeze nuts, Antia. I don't. I don't think. You're supposed to squeeze them. So I say. <laughs> Abigail was making your life miserable. You went to Abigail gone. Squeeze these nuts. I don't like you soon. Don't squeeze them. Don't squeeze them. That's gonna hurt both of you. <laughs> Abigail was making your life miserable. Abigail was making your life miserable. Fleeting moments of love you shared vanished when he came here. You were a good husband, provided for his wife. She didn't see that, did she? You're just a man, flawed like anyone, but no sooner would you fix one flaw than she'd find another. She abandoned you. That lack of intimacy, that unfulfilled desire, it ate you up. I loved her. I loved her. What kind of woman refuses her husband like that? She made me feel like I was less of a man. But it takes two to make a quarrel, John. What's your part in it? These are the words of him that hath a devil. John, chapter 10, verse 21. Go to hell. <laughs> that's... That's Come, probably... <laughs> let him sit with his own guilt. <laughs> that's probably the best, best way I have heard someone quoting Bible. You want to bonk him with the Bible? No, 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 I, I, no, no, no. I, I, I get it that he's irritating you, chat, but he's not irritating me. I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know, I'm feeling sympathetic to, towards him. <laughs> I think he would just need, need help. I think he would need, need some help. But I'm confused. But I'm confused about that, because it seemed like he said that she was refusing him from intimacy. But then again, it was that Abigail became very like that. She wanted intimacy. And then he was like, no. I'm, con I'm confused. <laughs> I I'm confused about that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Auntie, yeah, stop doing that. You're a dead wolf. We both tried to do fixing, but nightmare or something plus them, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's something to do with Ethel. Oh, that's a lot of dead wolves, okay.
There's a ghost chest. It's a ghost chest over there. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> More about the nightmare. The new Eden curse. The devil. <laughs> The New Eden Curse, the evil dreams. Some of us say it all started with the long-lasting winter and the verification of food, but this is not true. We had all faced difficult times in the past, and we all enduring people. Crispy cold, hungry wolves, and meager meals are not uncommon on this harsh coast. No, it all started with the dreams. Long, icky, and low-sumptuous dreams which stick to the mind for days or even weeks. Tired eyes and nerves. Exhausted glances and heartful silences. Anger above, fear above, hunger above, pain. When did it start? Who dreamed the first these abysses and dark pits? Who spoke for the first time? I believe it was... I believe it was Hepzibah Perkins, that poor old hag. It's a hag, Jet! <laughs> There's a hag! <laughs> it's Ethel! <laughs> but can't say for sure. It is so difficult to remember these days. <laughs> it is now too late to ask questions. Enduring people, that is who we are, and that's all that is left for us. It's always a hag, yeah. For what? Until when? We stand, that is all. The dreams are stronger. Mine are, anyway. Therefore, I have decided to write down these words to keep records of all these events in the new Eden curse. It was to take us all in the end. And if the worst was to come, to leave the testament of what we did and how we endured. Lucy B. I still don't know, I still don't remember who is Lucy. Who is Lucy? Also, uh, I, when I was doing the, uh, collecting the chest yesterday, I did find these notes and I want to read them on the stream. I just remembered them. You need to shower and wrap yourself out of bed. You do that, Kaz. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you have a good shower and do take care of yourself. Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> Who's Lucy? <sighs> Who's Lucy? I was gonna say, is it the Seeker? But no. I don't know. But yeah, that, I, I found the Seeker's notes, and I want to read them on the stream because I didn't read them by myself. Circuit uh, Geometry. What came first? The innate gift of oracles, seers, and shamans, or the painful knowledge made into teaching to be passed down through generations? Impossible to know for sure. Maybe they both grew along, while a few lore keepers build a deeper understanding of the incarnate and the invisible, and of the thin veil, too, that hangs between them and of the place and predicament of the lingering dead. Long ago, even before the humans began to mark the passing of time, before we farmed snails or planted grain, snails? Perhaps even before the fashion tools, the sharpest of, sharpest of us saw within the nature. As a random and unpredictable as she could be, there were the found shapes and patterns, the widening spiral of the seashell, the ancient locked hexagons of the honeycomb. These nascent minds divined that were there was meaning in these repaired shapes, and as time passed, humans learned to count and draw. Those who stood closest to the veil noticed that the presenting, representing the world in concepts, words and numbers, lines carved in stone, inked on paper or scratched in the wall, could not only reveal the other world, wherein live magic and the dead, but also impact upon it. Abstractions allows us to impose order. In Sumer, we used our capacity to represent the abstract account or corn and soon after to record our stories. Then elsewhere in Mesopot Mesopotamia and the Chaldeans looked to the stars and drew lines and saw patterns in repeating cycles. Astronomy was born and from this science grew the art of divination by the stars, an art that would be sit close to the heart of many subjects. Subsequent civilizations in Greece, India, and Byzant Byzantium, and in the pla pers in pla wait palaces, place palace. Oh God, my brain fails me. Palaces. Pal oh my God, how do I pronounce that? <laughs> oh my God, my brain fails me. Palace. That's right. Oh my God. Sorry about that. <laughs> and in the palaces and castles of Muslim caliphs and Christian kings in uh, Ox Occidental and Oriental. And these are the patience and excruciating scrutiny of the stars and intricate study of this tiny shell or leaf. 
that the wise brought the geometry rules which rules us all, dead and alive alike, the seeker. Witch hunt. Why are they hunting? Why are they hunting us? Blaming us? Burning us? Hip hypocrites and simpletons, all of them. Hypocrites, those who spit on our back and but visit our lairs at night, searching for protection from their foes or, or cares from their sweetheart. Simpletons, those who pra praise the reckless banishers or the demonologists while despising us, when all we share the same knowledge grown from the same forgotten roots. Why? Because we are foes to serve them, because we have looked through all the mirrors and came back wiser than most. Because through eons we taught and forgot more than banishers of demonologists will ever learn. Witches are proud and free, and we sometimes take their money for our services, we bow only to our mothers. In the end, they despise us, for they secretly, secretly seek what we found. The seeker. That was what I found earlier, so... Didn't get to read them until now. I know we are going from there, but let's check here. Hmm. Oh no, I hope nobody attacks me from behind. Or from my front. Did you just... How dare you pluck me? Stay down. Okay. There's gonna be paths, but we can't go there from here. Hmm. So much fur. I still haven't got more linen. All the linen is gone. Bly Estate. This must be where the Rumbles used to work. Another haunted house. Jolly good. Whee! Haunted house. Check the outside first. I hear ghost noises. But. And tell you, what did Abigail mean when she talked about you being betrayed by the first person you loved? Nothing. Didn't feel like nothing. I don't want to talk about it, Rory. Surprise, bloody surprise. That's what Sinatria Syn said. You have to tell each other about the stuff. Of course, Auntie I is doing. I don't want to talk about. It. I don't want to tell you. I hear Ivy. I heard a ghost orb as well, but maybe it's inside. Smash. Oh, this is probably yeah. Can you find a way around the locked door? It's blocked by Ivy. I saw there's a ghost object over there. This looks like the house in the Resident Evil. 
more corrupted ivy waiting to be plucked out. Okay, so there, over there, there. Oh, there might be multiple ivies here. Oh, that's not good. One, two. Oh, there's multiple of them, my day. Where's the heart, though? There's the heart. Can't shoot it though. So which ones are the ones I can see? Spread. I said read again. <laughs> okay, so I might need to clear out other routes first. This is locked from the inside. Sure. Also, there are floating candles here. Just I just noticed. <laughs> there are floating candles. Picked and culled. Hey, did it. Spooky. Yeah, spooky candles. Oh! Oh, I thought... I thought it got cleared out. No, I probably didn't. Oh. I'm ready to shoot the infested roots after you bruise the heart. Wait. There's a heart here. Oh, okay. Okay, you have one more. Upstairs. Wait a minute, I'm enjoying the target practice. Like you need it. I think it cleared down now, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Clearing out all the ivy. Yeah. I can hear there's more. <laughs> There's so much ivy in here. Yeah, it's blocking the door. That's fine. Loading cattles. Oh, this is the kitchen! This is the kitchen we have seen in the loading screen. Oh, spooky. I like the floaty candles. Is this now open? Yep. Yeah. Just want to test it. Guess diary too. I picture John dead. I open my eyes on my feet beside the bed when I could when I should be sleeping. What is happening to me? Please God help me. <sighs> she was possessed or influenced. I think that's the way we're supposed to go because Anthea is standing there. It's not oh, this door needs another key. Doors blocked on the other side. It's locked, all right. Yep. Reveal. Oh, 
kill us, so I'm not getting murdered. Pushed over the... Or through this uh, railing. Give root out. Have to check everyone. Sit up straight. Stop. Stop shrimping, chat. Now this door needs another key. No shrimping allowed. Abby's notes on paintings. Old Mr. Bly called me straight into paintings again and raised his voice to me. Those accursed paintings, those accursed walls. The house itself and all within it turning <clears throat> it turned in on me. He's hiding something amidst these dark walls, I'm sure of it. I must know what it is. It has to do with those strange paintings. I straightened them, then find them crooked. I found the straightening the paintings in the bedroom tilts all the others. No cry of light, no glimmer. I also found that the painting in the dining room does not tilt any other paintings. Do the walls keep shifting? In the darkness of the ballroom, its, paint its paintings only tilts the one in the guest room. My thoughts keep drifting as walls keep shifting. What would happen if I straightened the paintings in the guest room and the office? Here then, at long last in my darkness, I sound no more. Any sort of time what I plan to take food break? Uh, it mean hour, two hours. Why roar? <laughs> Are you thinking about when you get to do some works? So we got the touch paintings. Yes, I know you. <laughs> No! I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm not there one we have to find. Is that the elevator? Huh. Who made your show maps? Yep. You're trying to see if you need to lurk during work to play words. <laughs> You're. Are you planning on lurking at work? To play words? Benjamin is pleasure. Lately, I'm darkly angry with Ethel. Was it? Wasn't she Ethel earlier? <laughs> I don't know. Now she's Ethel. I'm nonplussed and not a little fearful. The business circles and there is trouble in the mines, but I have not reason to vex. So I have not reason to be vexed so with my darling wife. My grandfather was a violent man, especially to my grandmother, and I swore I would not let my familial characteristics to get better of me. But the blood demons have found their way into my head. I must not turn from righteousness. I must send the devil away and banish from my heart his sins. This Auntie Ethel, yeah? Seems like it. Let's touch it. Master key, point of keys belonging to the owner, collect the state. Oh, okay. Maybe this key will open the way. Ah. Huh. But not that door, apparently. Why does it look like someone is hiding in that? The imprint in the velvet is shaped like our mirror. Memories from the past linger nearby. All right, Chad, we are getting some sounds and noises again. Probably murder noises. Someone hopping so soon out from the closet. Yes, yeah. an infinity of paths. Don't need you no more. What are you doing? <laughs> Foolish girl. 
Please, no. Please don't hurt him. <laughs> Whatever's in this mirror is neither ghost nor specter. <laughs> Where is Abigail? Abigail has left us, my dears. It, it's Ethel. It's the heck, Ethel. <laughs> I'm gonna touch your painting. What you gonna do about that? Hmm. Touch your painting. <laughs> I straightened it. Hold on, I got to read this. If he goes to Diary 3, I worsen, I cannot escape him. I may kill him, and the fault is mine, for though he is mean and turning meaner, my malice is worse. What am I becoming? Hello, dearies. It's kind of too for you, Petal. By what name should we know you? Always that same question, and you know better than to ask it, Antea Duarte. I don't need a name to send the likes of you back from whence you came. I've done it before. How does she know your name? It's not Abigail. It's a... well, some would call it a demon. A bloody pest is what it is. You call us demons, but from where we watch in the great below, we are angels. You poor, transparent, knowable you are upside down. <laughs> A demon? What have you done to Abigail? What have you done with Abigail? She's here, in a way. I am the pool, deep and dark. She is the ripple that spreads and dies away, returning to the whole, a thing no longer. You're possessing her? Huh? We are friends. Such good friends. No, you're a lie. Vapor in the darkness. Really? When you sit beneath a tree alone with no one to talk to, no one to play with, how easy it is to lose yourself. You know nothing about me. Ignore it, Antia. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Poor transparent, knowable you. Interesting. You target pebbles. What are you? What are you? Not ghost, not spectre. What are you? I am I, the bringer from beyond the gates. Yes, yes. We know all about the void. No, you do not. But you will. You will know the void inside out, and you'll know nothing else. Right. Don't know what it is. So there she just said that she might be a demon, but not not the kind of demon we think of or something. You target couples. You target couples. You nest inside their hearts and plant the seed of resentment there, and grow it until it flowers and destroys them. We felt you in our hearts too. You came to me. You all come to me. When all you have lost becomes too much to bear. Tell me, little girl, how does it feel to watch the world make ready to pass you by? Do not answer, Antea. You said it yourself. We shouldn't engage with it. I know what I said, and I know what I'm doing. Get on with it, then. You're the banisher now. You get on with it. Right. Oh, she's like trickering them. Abigail tried to smash your mirror. Abigail tried to smash the mirror. She tried to break your hold on her. What happened to her? 
Are you a happy man, Red Ruri McGraith? Answer the question. Do you feel hollow? What would you do to once again feel her touch? To feel her finger trace lines upon your cheek? What do you want here? Do you feel guilty for leaving your family behind? Was it worth their sacrifice? Are you ashamed? Do you want to hear it from Aoife's mouth? Your sister can't be far. I... no. Abigail wanted to protect John. To the end, she wanted you gone. Abigail made her choice. But she lacked the strength to live with it. I'm dead, this. That's enough. Let's get this over with. Let's. Oh, get back here. I hate when they do that. Catch Abigail. You got out the let letter. Diary part. Oh. I was just delayed that I didn't get it out there. So, I wonder... I didn't get to go downstairs yet, though. Benjamin's Journal. A dark, the dark walls of our godforsaken house drips with the blood of the innocent. A few weeks after I recruit these men to excavate Excavate a new room below the manor. A thundering collapsing made them prisoners of their word. Most of them died at the moment, but one of one of screamed for hours while we tried to free him. Stone after stone, he ran out of breath, and we did not reach him before it was too late. I ordered for the room to be walled. I had to do it for everyone's safety. The stench of death surrounding this place, as I sometimes hear, and the same desperate scratching on the walls I used to call, calling me a murderer as if it was my fault. BB. Baby. Oh, 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 can I climb up? Oh, I can. <laughs> now you have two roots. Where's the other one? Oh. So I have to go here or something. Oh, you came out alive already. This isn't over yet. I thought you am alive when I touched the chest, but okay. I thought the uh, part of the wine ivy would be here. No. You aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. Oh, oh, it's over there. Okay. Well done. Don't think we need to go down there yet, hopefully. My shift isn't working properly. That's great. Is it that we can't sprint here? I guess we can't sprint here then. Okay, so it didn't affect this door. Right. Now, where's the ghost?
touch the paintings. So if we touch the master room, though, painting, then it will reset them. Okay, where is she? Is she actually gold in mines? Again with the mines! Is she gonna go and kill John? No, it isn't a matter. I guess we're going to mines then, Jan. To the mines! Mines! Again. Oh. Hey, look, it's the void. Oh, it's here! I know! Oh, okay, yeah, I found this place earlier. Wait, does she want us to go to... Because she said she's from the void. We have to go catch her in the void then. Or whatever it is. It's like. She's a demon. Okay. How do I. I'm missing out something. So I can't even reach to destroy that ivy. So I wonder. Oh. There's the path. Oh! Oh, Let's I didn't go. see this earlier. Defeat it. Stay on your guard. I didn't even notice there was a room here. Benjamin's letter two. I heard the devil speak and I listened. I killed her. The house is, house is haunted. There's something in the walls. I must leave while I can. Ethel, my love, forgive me. So it's not Ethel. It's just... Damn. Damn. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Who there could... Oh my god. No, you interrupted me! You root bats. You were gone. I thought I, I. Oh God. John? You're here. You're really here. I'm so sorry. Push, my dove. Worry no more. I'm here. We need to end this. the painting. Yeah, it's probably a puzzle how to solve it, but... <laughs> we 
Oh, oh, oh yeah, because we killed the thing. over here it's also making us fight all the time evil spirit or creature that just makes couples fight I assume it's taking her over him over the Cliff, maybe. No? Still over here. Or do I have to find footprints? Back up. That's enough, Abigail. Step away from him. What will you do? Banish me. Banish poor, sweet, innocent Abigail. Send us both into the darkness. You know well enough, Antea, my child. There is no ascent for Abigail now. There's no escape from the likes of me. Unless I grant it. I offer you a trade. A bargain. Abigail's ghost for John. Give John his due, and Abigail is free. No! I'm not gonna play him. No! <laughs> no! I'm sorry, but. Because the creature is from the void, I feel like we can fight it in the void. Maybe Abigail can forgive us? Abigail, if there is still a part of you in there, I'm sorry. Maybe. There is sacrifice in love, but love should not be all sacrifice. You're in an awful situation. We'll put an end to it. Please. No. Don't send me down. Hell awaits me there. A terrible banquet in which I am the meal. That's enough. We are not banishing Abigail today, but the demon that has taken her. There's a gamble. John! John! Please! Help me! I'd help Abigail in a heartbeat, but... You... Are not really her. Red, put an end to this circus. Go back to the void. Wherever you are, and to your masters. Whatever they may be. I'll take my prize to the grave below, and there I shall feast. You are invited to the banquet, all of you. But, especially you and the Eduarte, she knows about you. She knows all about you. And she's waiting. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. I... Where am I? What... What happened? Banisher? It's over, John. The entity haunts you no longer. I had such terrible dreams. Was it the devil? Sure, the devil. It was an evil spirit. It was an evil spirit. A bad one. Ah, oh, I see. It were a succubus wearing my wife's face. Oh, hi, Mark. Thank you, Banisher. 
I need to... I need to pack up and go. You want those rings, red wares? Yeah, they are pretty cool. I want the tattoo he has in his hand. How goes the stream? It's going well. Uh... Wait, there is something behind there. It's a secret chat. It'd also be nice. Maybe someday. <laughs> When when I have money, I feel I can get one of those. Do we have the note with us? Okay. Old Mr. Pie caught me a strain in pain again, raised his voice to a curse pain, blah blah blah. Uh, I have found the strength and pains in the bedroom tilts all the others. No cry for light, no glimmer. I also found pains in the dining room does not tilt any other paintings. The darkness of the ballroom, it's paintings only tilts one in the guest room. A good lurk, Mark. What's the ballroom? Which one is the ballroom? I assume that's the guest room. This is the master room. Master bedroom. It's now... Strain. Also, I hear the ghost on. Is this the office? Did I banish Ethel yet? Uh, it wasn't Ethel. Uh, it wasn't Abigail either. It was a. Uh... Creature of the Void. Creature. Yeah, Creature of the Void. <laughs> okay, so, because we moved that, so this would be now... Not tilted. Oh no, chat. <laughs> oh no. If we t this is the kitchen, I think. I did it! Did you hear that? Yes. Hey! Yeah, unlock the secret passage in Blight Manor! to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. Hey! I accidentally did the secret. See? There was something sus about the closet. That, that closet is sauce as well. Windrose, Ethel's belongings. Windrose, damage taken is reduced by 20% by damage punch against over this one, 50%. Oh, you, disgusting. No. Why would you have a choice to have that? Oh, that's bad. Why did Ethel have a secret room here? Hmm. Well, yeah, we did the banishing, because otherwise the other one would try would have been us to sacrifice. Don't I have a secret room? I don't have a space for a secret room. hundred years from now, that mirror will still be cursed. Unless we destroy it. Where should we start? Maybe a witch could help. Hmm. 
You sure I could hear it ghost or not so far away? Oh wait, it was this chest maybe. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. Yay. I don't see any. So there was no vampires there, chat. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, Spencer, how you doing? Shouldn't you be sleeping? Is it very light for you? That's John. <laughs> what do you do? Please banish her. Leave me be. Okay. Bye. Bye bye, John. Yeah, I think it was the chest making the noise out there. I was just avoid the question mark earlier because I was like there was a question mark on the map earlier. I feel like we're gonna have to end up going to the void. I'm a little disappointed, Chad. <laughs> I was so hoping there would have been about the vampires in the manor. Give me my vampires. How cold is it today? It was plus one when I checked out there. Okay, let's go see... Let's go see the Seeker and what she says about the mirror. So... But I think it's just because, you know, because it's so war warm. <laughs> it's so warm. Uh, the humidity, again, is really high. So it gets really cold, like the air is very cold, but like it's not cold, cold as in like it's not freezing temps. Yeah. But I think we will be heading to the void. We want to finish up there. Maybe we can ask Seeker about the Rumble's mirror. Clever. Yeah. Hi. What do you want? We found a cursed item. We found a cursed object. Did you use Fear God's ritual on it? This curse seems different. Stronger, somehow. We were hoping you could help. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? An entity took over a woman's ghost, or perhaps mimicked her so to torture her grieving husband. The mirror had belonged to a couple who died, violently. Red and I both felt its... influence. What became of the husband? We resolved the haunting. He lived. We're not sure what happened to her. It was a bit of a mess. Sounds like you found something really dangerous. Well done. Uh, what could the entity be? What could the entity be? We've linked it to the void. It was sharp, perceptive, highly manipulative. It came from the void. Who cares what it is? Don't trifle with it. Send the bloody thing back. We already did! What should we do with it? What do you think we should do with it? Three possibilities come to mind. Hair from someone who's escaped this entity's grasp. Soil from the breach through which it crawled out of the void. And the roots from a tree that has seen 5,000 moons. None is powerful enough by itself, but all three things combined shall serve the trick. 
Here? Here? As in... all of it? If you don't wish to scalp its owner, a lock should suffice. <laughs> That's good news. Sail, soil from the breach? The void? Again? Hey, it's dark. The closer to the breach the soil lay, <coughs> the more likely your ritual is to succeed. You know this place better than we do. So where to find such a tree? In the dark woods stands a great and crooked tree. It's surely the oldest living thing in the whole of New Eden. I'd go there. It's the cool looking tree we saw! It's the cool looking tree we saw. How you doing, Fritz Lord? Thank you, Ruta. Thank you. Thank you. Really. Remember, we saw that very cool looking tree. We'll be going. <laughs> Hope to talk again soon. It sure. looked very old. Okay, chat. So we could go continue this haunting case or continue the main quest line. I don't know how long this end of this haunting case might be, but I'm a little concerned how long it might be. Also, because I can't apparently see. The location of the things we need. I mean, we know where John is. We need to go talk to John, get his hair. But otherwise, I'll be just running around like a helpless chicken for hours. So I think you're gonna leave it for later and actually get into the main quest line. Because we haven't got to continue at all since not even last time we didn't get to play. Because we were doing the haunting cases, there were so many of them. So many. Keeps up. There keep, also, there's going to be more of them, obviously, when we get to the new area. There's going to be even more. Oh my god, there's going to be even more haunting cases. I might just do them off stream, you know. Because, you know, take take so long. Uh, you got three hours of sleep because you woke up and got very ill. You didn't eat enough food of her bed. Your stomach has decided to go on right. Oh no! Did you already have, like, you know, stomach flu or something? Oh. Excuse me? Is it someone else? I don't know. I mean, but someone else too, but I remember you had one too. I hope you feel better soon, though. I'm sorry to hear that you had a bad night. Let me check this. Doesn't say anything. Okay. I never shot that down. Not. I got one of those students where your stomach is empty for too long and you get very sick. Ah. No, oh, no. So, stomach acids. Have you had your uh, gallbladder removed before? If I may ask. Would you like to singing? Sure. I was just making bird noise. <laughs> I wonder what awaits us next. Won't be easy. We've lost an ally and a friend, and the nightmare is all around. Gall bladder, not 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 your bladder bladder. Gall bladder. That's a different organ. But you would know. You would know <laughs> if it was removed. I hope. It's the thing that stores stomach acids. And then when you eat, it releases them. 
And you can't live without one. No, okay. Because, uh... If you have your gallbladder removed, your stomach can, like, you know, because there's nothing blocking the stomach as it's going over, so it can, you know... Store bile with digestion fact. Well, actually, <laughs> don't you actually be rude? <laughs> well, <laughs> Ruth is just coming over here and just going, actually. <laughs> I don't think you can afford such a bill for that. Uh, I mean, it's only... It's not removed for... Just for fun. <laughs> it's removed when you get gallstones, for example. Well, usually it doesn't... It's not always removed, but... If you get gallstones, but... In my case, it was removed. What does the uh, question of the day mean? Like, fully cooked food level of food or raw ingredients? Anything. If you want a pizza tree, you can have a pizza tree. Oh, I think this is... Oh, look, Chan, out of the broken bridge. We won't be going this way. Mm. This country needs better bridges, or it will come to nothing. If you could pick just one food. I mean, it, it's just, you know... You don't have to pick favorite food, it can be any food. Anything that you would be craving right now. Maybe it's instant, instantly gross. Just add water. It looked like I could go up there. These will be the Harrows. An imaginative name. There's a ring to that. Like falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna oh, let that so one much. down, have you? Yeah, bastard! This spectral fish. nest needs to be cleansed. Spectral nest. Well, it would grow anything, it just wants to in burgers and fries now. I mean, why not? Burgers and fries, pretty good. I want meat. Can you just pick? You want tree that grow different food every day, like change the food per day. If you don't know if that's allowed. You can think of food that you can eat every day without if they getting bored or sick. I mean, sure. It's a magical tree, I'm sure it can do whatever you want. Sounds like something was moving into the water. Because the question of the day now recently, I have been getting them from the... A list of question, questions uh, of the day for kids. Because I feel, I feel like they are much more funnier. It was much more fun and funnier, but then there was like, what would you change about your mom or dad? Must, who asks kid that? 
There is something in the closer. I know you're supposed to use like uh, red to fight the specters and anti to fight the by the what's it called possessed ones. No, only if such strict as you would cutting out food. Well, mm, food is expensive. If we shoot three times into the water, do we get eaten by a fish? Landing. Interesting. This. Thanks, Roots. And now I want burger and fries. Why is it moving? Why was it moving? Fuck. Why was it moving? What a sight to behold. Wasn't I always? I wonder what was landed here all that time ago. Something illicit, no doubt. Illicit? Illegal stuff? Smugglers, yeah. You have to be restricted to one type of food. I guess fruits, veggies, are complete with dressing. You're bad with cooking veggies and cutting fruits. I mean, same. But I have noticed that if I just. Is there a rope ready on it? Apparently. I just uh, wash the apple and eat it. I seem like I cut it in slices and then I eat it. But I don't peel it. Whee! Red, come and look. Do you know this sign? Huh? Huh? I can make short work of this roadblock. <laughs> what sign? Over there? I'll, I'll check it in a second. I know. I thought yes, I can hear the ghost noises. It's going. Pss, pss, pss. There's a crate with a sign. Hundred associates. I, I believe it was a new French trading company before you or I were born. The cave had been abandoned for a while then. Ah, uh, it was probably a French smuggler's den. Thank you, Dan. Your brother's good as with the knife as you're good with don't chop in the wheels. I don't think you have to lie to your life. 
healing charm. Eating a weak spike within the fire fire restores 7% health points. Health points. I mean, I don't like job interviews at either. I don't know who likes them. That's more like it. Who the heck likes them? No one. And previously, when I just had enough, I'm like, I was like, I just didn't care anymore. I got the job. <laughs> I was like, I, I just don't care anymore. I was just rambling random stuff. And I ended up getting the job back then. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't care anymore, like... Just, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I got the job. It was funny. Me. Gunning has shown kindness to you. Looks like it. You hit the chest making noises still. Yeah, it's a chest. I swear we are gonna have some water ghost or something. Ghost of a crocodile. Should be take a break in a moment though. So I really need to pee as well. And getting a really bad jump scare wouldn't be optional. Or a good thing to happen. Accomplished with the whatever void creature that had taken over Abigail's ghost or something, Abigail. If it if we had sacrificed John, because she was like, oh, save Abigail, but you know, Bane, uh, pl plain John. She would have just taken over John. I, I don't... <laughs> what, what was even the thing there to do? <laughs> was it just... Oh, was it just, you know, trying to... Sandian's island is a pleasant place no longer. Ah, folk will miss her. Without ever knowing she was here. What was it like for it? Because it seems seemed to be very manipulating and luring and all that devious. That maybe it was just to you know get the essence for Antia. We have discovered the arrows. Wow, it's really pretty in here. We are so used to being in the woods. In the dark woods. Okay, who's gonna attack me? No one. Ah! The papa. Papa. Okay. More? Another insight. 
new stuff. This is new stuff. We didn't have this before. What day is new Eden? I look surprised. Yeah, there was some weird noise up. <laughs> Foundation of the new Eden, 1635 to 1638. How was new Eden founded? When? By whom? It never ceases to amaze me how much information from the recent past already fades away in the fog of time. Maybe it has to do maybe it has a lot to do with the settlers' lifestyle. Mainly focused on their daily and pure routines, in is this nation in the making destined to forget about its past? Is it deeply rooted in my fellow Connors' choice to travel an ocean to forget about their previous and often unpleasant life? I cannot say. But since I believe it is essential to remember the past to forge and better future, I will keep on gathering information about the foundations of the new Eden, even if my curiosity may displease some of my neighbors. I now know for the fact that the little hidden valley was first discovered by an exploratory party sent from a recently founded town of Boston. In the surrounding hills, they found precious ore and metals. Struck by a pristine and beautiful setting, the expedition's leader named the Valley New Eden. And with some second men, he decided to install the first settlement while the rest of the expedition went back to Boston to bring back more people and material. This was in 1635. According to Boston's register, I find strange that the name of the founder is not known, but this is not uncommon among the myriads of new bar settlements blooming all around the coast all the time. Maybe I should conduct more research about the man next time I have a friend to travel to Boston, or interrogate some more elders. What is known for sure is that their presence in the valley highly related the nearby native tribes who seem fierce of their presence. I have already found that local tribes nicknamed the valley or a part of it the ill mouth. Settlers so probably refused to leave since the few skirmishes have sadly been recorded in the 1636. Reinforcements was sent from the few measure Oh no, you got eaten by a storm moon. Massachusetts Bay colonies until the na Native Americans abandoned the area for good. New Eden Colony was officially founded as the plot of the first victims, so get the earth of the not so pristine anymore valley. A, a first copper mine was opened when the second while more white men and women joined the blooming town. In the ancient governor's house, I have found contracts of the building of the first mill by the seashore in 1637, relating to the Anton and Esther. Pro Proctor, who seemed to have acted like county leaders for a time before they mysteriously disappeared. Their chicks even seemed to qu be quite common around. While the first settlement seems to have rapidly decayed, in less than two years I couldn't find any trace of trade between New Eden and Boston. No more ore was bought by nearby colonies. Like in many similar settlements, the small war guard quickly vanished. The first rumors of the deadly epidemic started to spread around, mixed with weird tales about the swamp quickly growing in the middle of the valley. This should have been sufficient to keep the colonists away, but the room of the rich mines in the nearby hills also spread. Deborah Comenius, school teacher of New Eden, September 68, 1687. It was Deborah again. Maybe Deborah is actually just trying to make them leave the place. After what happened at the fort, I wonder what awaits us in the Harrows. No matter the bridge, we can cross it. Don't get cocky. Oh, I'm not. I'll be relying on you. You can't rely on me forever. Yeah, actually getting more linen, that's what I needed. For, for some reason, the shopkeepers weren't selling it anymore. So I guess they have. They are like limited on what stuff they can sell. Just kind of, kind of annoying, but under understandable in the story ways.
There's an angry spectre nearby. Summon it before it ambushes us. A scourge. I'm just unlocking these areas because otherwise they're gonna keep on appearing as question marks on the map. And then I'm confused. Well, what the hell is there? And then I'm like, oh, I'll just go take a look. And then I'm like, oh, it was just a challenge. So if you're playing, do go unlock them, but don't do the ritual. A lot of limb. Don't mind if I do. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really. But I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the beauty of the world. I'd be tempted to think the warmer air means a warmer welcome. I suspect I'll be wrong. Trust that instinct, young apprentice, for it will serve you well. It's a... It's a little odd. That they are, like, you know, lovers and also, uh master and an apprentice and then she keeps on calling him apprentice well i don't know about their play but you know it's a little it's a little weird hi where'd you crawl from oh you're a shooter aren't you I thought you died. What's up, Mark? Is it down there? It was down. What's for foobs? I mean, Smith soup. Soup. Come here. Oh, Jesus. Suddenly, I can't manifest. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Something magic hinders me. Oh! First words. Oh, oh my god, that spooked me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm still hindered. Better. Thank you. These wards look fairly new. A witch? A Haskell, more likely. Let's be careful. What's a Haskell? What's a Haskell? Synergy, probably switch. Next to go to Georges, blah, no. I assume this is actually where we were supposed to go anyway. Was there anything else up here though? Oh. 
petit mâche. I don't know how I spotted that, but I did. I'm very really proud of myself. I'm also very proud of myself of the... of the... video I edited to TikTok, the clip. <laughs> even if people don't like... even if some people might not like it, I don't care. I, I'm proud of myself for making it. I think it was funny. I think I was funny. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Also, I forgot to do this. Computer, please. I was going to test out if I reopen the dashboard again. No. It still says that I have an unstable connection to which It still says I have unstable Connection for whatever reason Which way are we going? Anyway But I want to check what that is It's up here No. I can't help you from here. I'll deal with it quickly. Oh. Spicy. Oh. Okay. Reinforcements. Oh god, it's a farmer. new a farmer ghost it doesn't work I somewhere worry. yeah So I can't manifest anymore. Hold on, chat. I have to wipe my nose. My nose. have paper piece right in front of me just in case <laughs> if I need it quickly that's what you get for having a leaky nose oh yeah because there was the Ghost chest there, so we get it. We get out from here. Oh, 
Ah, okay. Take care. The place is warded. It's fine. Now. Oh, quick. Farmer's Diary, February 20th, 1694. Will and I argued. The frost has yet, not yet lifted and we will be late in planting. This winter has not been easy and if there is no harvest next winter, it shall be worse. He February 28th, 1694. Now the time passes, but not the frost. March 18th, 1694. I have not yet planted, and now I'm feeling unwell. I shall take to my bed and write again when I'm up. I don't think she got up. There's a lock. Okay. I'm gonna need a key. It's locked. <gasps> Yay! One of the Bibles. Never have I ever been so excited about finding Bibles. Still impressive. How do I? I thought it was I had to stick to that thing. Hello, what's in here? Yeah. Oh right, because we couldn't get around. <laughs> I was like, why? why? <laughs> fighting. Farmer's last ledger. Faith is dead and now these creatures are roaming around our farm. I barely escaped and found refugee here on the heights, but I don't know how long I can hold out. No one will come for me. Oh lord, have mercy. Oh lord. What's in here? of stuff, apparently. We found the key! Smash everything! Open the chest. You just in imprison England's old traditions. The snap will, of course. Oh, new gun. Oh, opportunist. Rifle damage increased by 100% against wounded enemies. Although I didn't check how it looks. Just wanna see how it looks, so me. <laughs> this is about a big roar and droplets, uh, but all your principle is not gonna work well on you. You just have to hoard. You just have to hoard like a roar does. Mm-hmm. Or... Did I get somewhere from there? Also, Roar, are you home now? Or were you still working? What? <laughs> I asked, are you home? Or done with work? Oh, no, yes. 
Remember to do, do the thing so you know. Or was it that you want uh, animal roar? I can also try to find like a dinosaur roar for you if you want to. Something's concealed. So I know Epidemic Sound does have a dinosaur roar. Can you get a cute roar? Sure. Oh, look, a corpse. She looks fresh. What is a cute roar? Like cat, a kitty, kitty doing meow. Oh, I feel like I'm going somewhere where I shouldn't be going yet. Let's let's stick to the main quest. <laughs> sure. Oh, cor corpse. Yes. <laughs> hey, where's the corpse? Well, well, I'm supposed to do that. I've been like. Oh, a thing there on the ground. <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing on the ground. There's something. I thought I saw something for me to pick. Can't be a cat roar or a silly roar. Yeah, all right. I'll see to it later. Thank you. You said it's so close to the shore that it makes you think cute roar is a corpse roar. I don't think corpses really make any no noises. It could be passing gas, though. Hey, Kersad! Good morning, how you doing? Any awake? Need more awake. Tired after last night. What happened last night? <laughs> what happened last night then? What's that? I guess the thing I shut down. He was modding over 300 people at the same time for 6 hours. You mean being a moderator or... Modding? You know, mods. <laughs> moderator, yes. Okay. I hope it went well. It can be a little spoopy sometimes, but... I'm sure it, usually it goes mostly well. And if there's people misbehaving, you just bonk them. It went well, but oh boy, you were drained. I can imagine that. When in doubt, bonk. Bonk it out? Sure. Wait. I'm confused. Is there... Do I have to get up there? No. I think it was just a rope. Rope? <laughs> rope. Rope to get up. But we don't have the rope there. 
Yeah. Okay, so we do have to head over this way. Okay. You may have to get into this Hercules test, or is it getting 300 in the city skyline? It depends. Sometimes there are those days, there are days when just horrible people keep on coming over to the chat, like one after another. It's like, are you freaking kidding me? What's wrong with you people? I'm losing my humanity. I'm losing my humanity. I'm losing my faith in humanity. When one of the other just keeps on appearing. Bon camera oh, collecting there's, dust. There's a ship here. Incredible. Beautiful oh. too. I thought I looked at that and I thought it was a mill. I don't know why. Until he said, oh my god, why is there a mill uh, ship here? And I was like, well, that's... Oh, it is a ship. <laughs> also, I can hear the sounds. You thought it was a mill as well? Yeah, I was like, that's a mill! <laughs> it's a broken mill. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, I'm more uh, in the Discord server. So the amount of hack account being used to promote Mercer's links is too damn high. That sounds like someone might not Something have all wards. Someone might not have uh, all the safety settings on enabled. I just added some yesterday on the our Discord server. So technically. <laughs> If there is someone sending you guys a message from or my ser my server or server, it should go directly to a spam folder. Hi. Oh. Ow. This isn't working. Can I switch? Okay. Reinforcements. Well, you can you can talk to the server owner, can't you, Ritzler? I can help. Like, but the channels exactly. But there is also a uh, auto mod for Discord in these days. So there is like setting to prevent like server only only appears once a month. Ah, it's one of those kind of servers. <laughs> hey Butler, how are you doing? Simple and simple. No. Can't remember what the symbol is called, but no, it's not simple and simple. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Uh, oh, it's, it's the void. I feel something close. It's the void. It's the void. Void is not fast travel in chat. That's a void breach, all right. It's a Can challenge. Jump in? No, we are not. So it takes a while for me to do it. Uh, 
Oh, it was just activating that thing. Easy as pie. Nah, but you can't cook. <laughs> I think that's going back, isn't it? Yeah, that's going back. As we are in combat new area now, I have no clue where we are. I mean, I know, like, I can open this map and look from there, but you know. And a familiar area so far. That takes over to the shit. I think that's where we're supposed to go to. It's a challenge. Let's just go and unlock it. Corpses. We could manifest what hides here. We could. No, these are the ones I needed for some upgrades. The seashore candles. Seashore. Welcome back, Rootown. Wait, is that the... Is that the whale bone? That's some big bones! Looks like a whale bone, to be honest. Oh yeah, Curse had a good job on doing that moderating of uh, your friend's place. I did say. I heard the. I heard the. Pss, pss, pss. Ghosts or whispers. I'm just chilling out with some tea right now until mom comes over and we make lunch together. What are you gonna make? What's for lunch? Smash? Smash. There's a hole. Ivy? It's just off the path. When possibly sons of the forest. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what a name. I like it. It's very unusual. What does it say? And yeah, I'm trying to read. Kronos? Why oh, yeah, it does say Kronos? Thanks. I can't read. You're gonna make tuna salad and mushroom risotto. Ooh. Sounds good. Why roots? And were you trying to think of that I would be doing the Twitch integrated Sons of the Forest? <laughs> like Baron was doing. 
I don't know how well it worked, I only saw it briefly. Maybe. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. A fishing boat, eh? Because that's more plausible than a galleon. Sailor's Diary, page number one. 14th of May, 1678. We follow the black whale three full days now. Clever these two. We lose it and pick it up once more. 16th of May, 1678. We took the black whale. It is lashed to our hull. It is dark eye watches me. Black light wounded leviathan. Filled with hatred. The foam of our stern bleeds red and we shall have, our, have oil for the winter. Adventure. Sounds fun. You're such a little boy sometimes. I wouldn't call that an adventure, but okay. Uh, Twitch integration mod. I'm not really hum completely sure for what. It was like a... Um, a program. Like the... What's it called? The, the one that is used for... From well, crowd control, isn't it? It's a similar one. You might have broken spawning enemies, or was it that burns it off? This is their start. No, he said. I think. I think I was there when he said about that. It was there, but then they was disabled because it didn't work, or it broke completely, or something. I don't know. I feel a draft from the invisible. But yeah, definitely would be fun to play Sons of the Forest again. I just don't know when. You know. I just don't know when I will feel like it again. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Sailor's Diary, page number two. 21st of March, 1672. I miss Alice and the chil Children? Should be children or... Is that the old way of saying? I don't know. I miss Alice and the Children. I pray we return in haste or barrels full. For some reason unknown to me today, I think of our late Gilliam. 23rd of March, 1672. A fin. We gave chase, but the creature di dived. All is quiet once more. 29th Mar March of 1672. You have taken another whale, but the captain has us singing all the same. 5th of April, 1672. Some would hit the captain over the head and steer for home. The fools will surely hang. 10th of April, 1672. Nay, nary a whale, the captain should watch out. 14th of April, 1672. The food is running low, and we shall make for home. The food is running low, and we shall make we're home, or the captain shall take the hammer to the head. Good old murdering the captain. Okay, there's one. Second is there. Where's the heart, though? The third is there. Is the heart up there? Roar the droplet hoarder, yep. What? I maim the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 
Here's the heart. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Wow. It's like I more now. Wow. Is Anna the one? Wait. Oh. Oh, there was. Yeah, it looks like there's four of them, yeah. Okay, one, two. So get this there. One, two, three. The fourth might be here. Yeah, okay. Oh. Hope you trick your happy there. Yay! Yay! We did it. Must this make a rope? Yes, good. Just wonder how did the ship get over here, though? These did boards what? are rotten. That makes me nervous. Smash. <laughs> Does the water look a little bit too shallow? <sighs> or shit to get through? What was the purpose of this? Why did I come up here? Yes, yellow markings. Why? Apparently you can't T-Poop oh, Well, of course, T-Poop is not the command. Uh, you don't have to add the T anymore. Uh, uh, Alistair fixed it up. There's no need to be at T, you can just do Poop and the target. Can we spin again if we've spent before reset? No. I 
am missing something. I'm completely missing something. Because I can see you can go over there. Because this this yellow stuff on the stuff on things means that I can go from there. Oh yeah, there's that bath. Wait, no. I'm not looking for the roots. No, no, no. There was an outfit area uh, in this shit, but... But, uh, I couldn't find my way there. I already destroyed the roots. Behind the ship. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying. <laughs> Find path there. Not this. There it was. Eh! No rats. Up here. Hello. Oh, squeeze, squeeze. Oh. <laughs> I can't even see the path there. Definitely missing a spot or something somewhere. Behind the ship. We went around the ship already. Wait. Oh. I see it. I saw there was something I could shoot. I think. Okay. But there's yellow stuff, so. There. What did that do, even? <laughs> what did that do? Check it out later more. Let's check the other part of the ship. If there was anything else. A good shower. Or... 
hell, there's a way around. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, it would have been there. That's where we came from. That's where we came from. Sound? I wonder. I so I just noticed there's cart wheel. Markings on the floor, on the floor, on the ground. Wait. I thought. So you could get to it from here. No. I think there's a path to it somewhere else. But this thing I don't understand. I'll I'll think about it later. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Let's continue with the. Let's continue with the quest. We have been spinning around the ship enough long now. <laughs> Speaking of ships, I am looking forward to seeing. If it's, I don't think it's out yet, but there's a game called Shipbuilder. I don't think it's out yet. I'm looking forward to it at least. Is it out yet? No, it's not out yet. To be announced. What was the last update about? Last year. Oh, they're hiring workers. Hiring people to work. Okay. Because uh, back when uh, I was a kid, when my siblings were kids, we ha we suddenly had this face. What that... a grip it is the nightmare has here. You'd never know by looking. That we were non-stop well not non-stop but like every time when we were drawing something we would draw people building ships or repairing ships and i talked with my sister about it not so long ago and i was like why did we do that and she was like she, like she didn't hadn't even remembered it until i mentioned it to her and she was like i don't know i was like i don't know either why were we doing that? <laughs> we were just constantly drawing people building ships. Like, you know, like pirates and, you know, builders. And I was still like thinking, like, did we watch some pirate show or something? I have no clue. Zero clue. So I showed her that they, you know, I showed her that game, the shipbuilder. I was like, because you have to see this one. I was like, I showed it her, like, there's going to be a shipbuilder game. I was like, oh my god, I have to play that. I was like, I know, right? <laughs> Build your own ships. The bridge is up. I wonder why. To keep folk in or to keep something out? You did paper ships at some point to a point you used to hold a college block paper to build paper ships. I mean, we were drawing them. Uh, as in, like, we were just drawing, like, you know, stick figures. Of course, we were kids. But, you know, because especially when we were at our cottage, because uh, we used to... <laughs> it's going to sound weird. It's concealed. <laughs> it's going to sound so weird to many people, but we have a out... We had a... Well, I mean, it's still there. It's the outhouse. 
of their cottage, and so we want we our drawings were put on the walls of the outhouse, as in inside the outhouse, as decorations. Why? I don't know. <laughs> They were just, I don't know, they would just put the- it's like putting uh, stuff on a fridge door. But yeah, there was like ton of them and there was like so many of them were especially about the shipbuilders. Still don't know why. I mean, I love building games now when I'm older, but you know, it's still like... Was that some early on thing? I was like, I, I like something close. I like building. You feel something close? Okay. Look at those rope swing. Whoa. I'm sorry, but that amazes me. Oh my god, look at it swing! Huh. Imagine animating that, you know. Well, you have to animate that in the sense of like... Gravity stuff. Whoa! GG devs. GG. Ow. Hmm. Hi. Did we lose connection? I'm still here. My Twitch stopped working, as in the dashboard. And Firebot reconnected. <laughs> I mean, my dashboard keeps on saying I have an unstable connection all the time, but you know. If the API went oof. Could be. It's almost that time anyway. Oh my god, look at this cute house, though! That is so cute! That is so cute. Uh -huh. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. Let me in! Oh, I see there's a thing I might need to shoot. I shoot it from here. Where are showing that I can? Smash! Smash. Smash. Really, I can't. I can't reach the chest from here. Mm. <laughs> I'll climb over the thing. Nope. No climbing. No. Thank you for the chest. What's in it? Some materials.
Is smoke happening? So I guess if there is people. New Eden Town Dwelling Woods got acre, 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 Commandant's Beach. I want to see what's in this dock. Oh no, chat, we have a new area. Now I'm like, what's this? What's in here? What's there? What's that? What? Secrets? Smash. Smash all. I can hear you. Where are you? What's this made of? Truck. Any secrets? How dare you? How dare you, Carousel? What's this made of? Metal. Or water. The village is full of ghost wards. They're afraid of something. Leave them up. Cause no trouble. <laughs> I was like, can I still do it? <laughs> And not all this is until a certain point. Yep. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Well, there's smoke coming out from the chimney, so... Hello? Who there? Anyone home? I left the door open. Housekeeping, <laughs> ghost keeping. Now look from your window. It's empty. Ghost keeping. Yes. I'm not moving this. Why did I move that? <laughs> Anyone here? Bite away. Enjoy your food. Bite away. Can I just say? At least they have actual rear, rear, real windows that you can see through in, inside the houses. That like there is actually stuff in the houses instead of like some PNG picture of a house stuff inside. I think Vampire had that. <laughs> they have this game like, oh my god, the stuff. I already talked about the navigation system with the map and everything is just so, so good. And I feel so bad for the devs that I, I was so dumb with it. <laughs> Hello? It's locked. All those things, but not able to borrow. I know. Oh! As a bakery. She never noticed the sign. General store. The well recently sealed. Below, it feels off. Smells off, too. Shoes. Died in the well. Did Timmy fall down into the well? I don't know if that's. <laughs> that's like a sound. I think it's like bugs flying or something. But it sounds like someone is constantly farting. It's 
just funny. I don't know if you guys can actually hear it, but... <laughs> but I do hear it. With headphones, I guess you can hear it easier. <gasps> Yay! In change Bible. Of course this book. Perhaps there's a key. But what if we just smash it? Is this like storage room or something? Perhaps. He's gonna keep on repeating that, I guess. Was that seagulls? Was it in game? Fairfax <laughs> Haskell. Though it bring demons down in great wrath upon my soul to pray. I was thinking because you heard them as well. I was like, what the fuck are they? So many seagulls. <laughs> you thought it was in real life the first one until I asked. Yeah. Demons. Demons. Maybe you already now know that they are... Sort of demons. I, Fairfax Haskell, though it bring demons down in great wrath upon my soul to pray. Many times you have had listened to in game or real life first thing when running around forest. Mm. Six hundred weight of brass. Friends, Hello. find fortitude in our success. Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations. We congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather, we worship, we overcome. And we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, poring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half built? Yes. Open to the four winds? Yes. But already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. So McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you. What happy portent, what most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds, O oh, fate, I say. Dead, sir, I thought you dead. Maybe I am. Do hey. not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's <laughs> wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. 
The battle with the Devil's Legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Blood? Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? She knew the risks. It should have been me. I've read an talk about it. She knew the risks. She knew the risks. So will I go in unto the king. And if I perish, I perish. So said Esther to Mordecai. Such wisdom. Such courage. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful, but you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. And there comes a time when you must let go and walk on alone. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? How may I help? What's going on? What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil, heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. Okay, may I help? In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her. Or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise. But I am a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go. Meet my people. Walk amongst them. Learn which of them secretly serves the demon. That we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. What makes you think there's a witch? What makes you think there's a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, or man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened, but this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course. As did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. It's just, it's just amusing me. It's just amusing me that he goes like, it could be, the, the woman could be somewhere. Or a man. It should be her downfall. Or the man's. Or his. I appear to have tangled myself to a cable. <laughs> what the hell? I'm no witch hunter about the illness. This illness. Tell me of it. 
Upon my arrival here in the Harrows, I immediately set about protecting the place with consecrated tokens. Safeguarded from the curse, we all felt safer for a time. Then some devil poisoned the well, our only source of water, someone on the inside, mind. Spoiled water proves nothing. A wise point and well made, Banisher, if not for the fact that we have been, for months on end, under the obvious influence of a terrible curse. One way or another, the devil has found an agent among us. And who knows what nefarious ill doing old Black Spy plans next? Sure. But your ghost wards. I noted your ghost wards with. Hey, Sven. Ghost wards, an interesting name. I call them sanctifiers, a name more palatable to my flock. Hi, you doing, Sven? You have a day off? Nice. I'm doing good, thank you. Uh, did you craft them? I think his son craft them. You dislike him? Yeah, he's quite a... Uh... I think he's gone worse since we saw him at <laughs> the New Eden. Did you craft them? That requires a great deal of occult knowledge. Where did you learn your craft? Etienne Roulet, one of the greatest demonologists of our time, is a good friend of mine. I improved upon his work. Why not use them against the curse? Why did you not use them in New Eden when the curse began? It was more complicated to convince the whole congregation of the necessity to use magic. Here, people have more trust in my unmovable probity. Yeah, what's the word around here? A man in your position must know what goes on in his own community. Why, of course, I know all that there is to know. Oh, near enough. Ask your question, sir. Ask away. About the colony. How goes the colony? Sir, the body politic bears a heavy weight. Not content with weakening their flesh, the devil's evil attacks the people's hearts and minds. Until you expose the culprit, the harmony of this divinely beautiful commonwealth shall remain marred by suspicion and mistrust. Long story shortened, people are not getting along. Yes, Sven. Monthly reset. Uh, at the first day of the month, we see who has the most amount of droplets and then they get the reward. So that's why. And then they get reset after that. And then you have one of the months to go again. <laughs> at least you didn't lose them. About you. How did you, a man of position and faith, become a, a demonologist? Ah, yes. If you'll indulge me for a moment, I shall explain, in the briefest manner possible. Though blessed with intellect and no little faith, I also had privilege. I had the means for an education, time and place with which to study. For a time, my father was a pupil of Henry Boggart, the great demonologist. He had the books. I had the aptitude. When he passed, I donned his mantle. My father taught me about duty. I have gifts, faith, intellect, position. I must protect them. I must use them to protect my people. This is my duty. This is my burden. Okay, about your son? Your son? How would you describe him? Lamentation. How would I describe him? I... Well, he is curious. Inquisitive, I mean, as opposed to peculiar. Although he has his moments there, too. I tried to teach him demonology, to make him the third generation of witch hunters. Ah, but he revealed no disposition. Occult knowledge could only obfuscate his good nature. At heart, he is a naive boy who reads a lot and doesn't say much. I got a feeling, chat, that his son has done something bad. <laughs> but he doesn't know about it. <laughs> he 
He is very arrogant, yeah. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. You, you mean Deborah? You listen to Pennington? You listen to Pennington? You listen to Pennington's accusation. You've heard some of the story, I gather. Saul was first to speak, but he was not the only one to bear witness. When Deborah showed her true nature, I was proud to pass judgment upon her. She earned her punishment. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But she cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. Yeah. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. What? For a fee, yes. I, you've heard some of this. When Deborah showed her. Uh, yeah. You know, God has not. I'm a working. I'm pretty sure I can. Click my good vibes, okay. I'll leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Yeah, he's the family. Um... Oh, well. Can I smash that? Nope. He's definitely a sus. What's that blinging sound? Bling? Another witch hunt. Never was innocent, Deborah's anger persists. Never was innocent. If there even is a witch, Deborah was innocent. Eee! Another Bible. <laughs> Can I actually. I wanna check out Chad. That's the wrong button. How many do I have? Oh, it doesn't show. Okay. Can I see it from somewhere? Probably not. It says it's 15 books that you have to find. But that they have put these wards around. That is witchcraft. <laughs> it's witchcraft to put those wards. It's kind of funny. But if he does it, it's not, of course. Hello. Good day to you, madam. Richard, that you? Yes. Trade not, ma'am. Red McCraith, I'm a banisher. Is that a breed of doctor I've not heard of? I need no bandages. <laughs> not exactly, no. What brings you here, Doctor? Mr. Doctor? I'm starting to wonder. I'm here to help. I'm a banisher, not a doctor. I'm here to help. Kind of you, but I need no help. Well, then I <laughs> <you> insist. <laughs> May I ask your name? Sorry. <laughs> you, young man of a tongue as refined as your appearance is rough. <laughs> Sorry, um, it just came out of nowhere. Perkins. Could he Perkins to you? <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm so sorry, Chad. Oh my god. Oh my god. It kind of came out faster than I thought. Exactly. Exactly. People here looking at phrases of original songs? No, I don't. I don't follow. It doesn't interest me that much. What's the word around here? What's new round and about? <laughs> Do you know? I'm not the crier. I've neither the voice nor the memory for it. Wait, Heb Hebziba, Zib Hebziba, Hebziba. I haven't even listened to how she pronounce it. Uh, her name seems familiar though. I think we have heard it before. About the governor. What can you tell me of Governor Haskell? What's Thanks, Kirsten. <laughs> oh, he's such a clever man. Listens keenly. He is vain, though. These men are often very, very lonely, you know. Okay. About Lammy Haskell. Do you know Lamentation? Lammy Haskell, the governor's son. What think you of him? Oh, he's a good boy. Like his father in that respect. About the Harrows? How are things in the Harrows? Folk are upset. The governor says there's a witch. That would explain all the death and disease. And what have you. I only leave the house to attend service. For God has granted me wisdom and mercy. Anything strange around here? May seem a strange question, but have you noticed anyone acting strange? <laughs> strange, you say? Who of late has not been acting strange? Well. There's always the alewife. I can't remember her name. She's furtive. She wanders. If there is a witch. I'll bid you good day, Goody Perkins. May God grant you grace, Mr. McGraith. If there is a witch, by any chance, if there is any sort of kind of witch, I think it's her. And I hope it's her. She seems amazing. Also, this village a real life is amazing. Actual banisher oh. here in the Harrows. I'm just tempted to just leave now. I'd be like, no. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, like, this village looks so freaking gorgeous. You're the governor's son, right? I... Uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Oh, they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. <sighs> so many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honored. But didn't the governor, his father, say, like, that Lemmy's not good? With the demonology or any of that, that he's not interested. What do you do here? So tell me, Lemmy, what do you do? Uh... What? How do you spend your days? I assist my father, especially with the ghost wards. That keeps me very busy. When I can, I continue my research into the mysteries of life. Wildlife, mostly. If I can find any. Those that aren't dead have left New Eden. Who can blame them? He has really familiar voice. Elementation, he got bullet. <laughs> school with that name. Yeah, I remember that, that they're in these times they had really funky names that that are funky to us now. But you know they have very silly names. 
That seems silly to us. It is hard to be governor's son. Must be hard being the governor's son and all. Is it? I don't know. I've never been anyone else's son. Hard to grow up in his shadow, I would have thought. Only if you like the attention, not me. I just want to read books and learn stuff. People leave me alone mostly. I like that. Mostly. Let me, I like you. About the illness. Your father spoke of the pestilence. He did? Then, sir, you know as much as I do. If you have an opinion of your own, I'd be glad to hear it. Since you ask it, I believe a thing most vile assails us. An evil of origin unknown and perhaps unknowable. So the pestilence is part of the curse? Uh, y yes. Of course, the curse. Of course it's the curse. What else could it be? You're also highly suspicious, but I still like you. <laughs> Those ghost wards are quite unique. They are, aren't they? Conceived by Etienne Roulet, but made by my father. Do you use them as well in your line of work? Not really. I mostly talk to ghosts. I don't repel them. Of course. Still, each tool has its purpose, and these troubled times, we need all the tools we can get. Magic is glorious when wielded by the righteous. You seem to know a lot about it. Uh, oh, if only, sir, if only. I'm still learning. Many of the subtleties and nuances escape me yet. The fuck was that? <laughs> also, he has a very interesting looking necklace. Lamy does. Your father believes there is a Harrow's Witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. Hold on. Lamentation and Lamy. <laughs> Good day to you, Lamy. Good day to you, sir. That's a very unfortunate name, though, that way he, what he has, but... What's this? Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. He resists inhabitants be honest. What? Keep the deceased inhabitants' personal belongings. Okay. <gasps> Book! I have no clue how many I have found. I would love to know. <laughs> Knock it over? With you once more. Yay! New Eden Curse, a long winter. Ooh! Story time, chat! Story time, take your seats. The New Eden Curse, A Long Winter. Did I already write about the winter that never ended? Sometimes I lose track of time. This is the reason why I keep these pages until the day I'll give them to the wind, the witness of what happened to us. 1694. Sickness was upon us. Chicken died first, then the calves and lambs. Crops were bad in summer. Autumn was grey and cold. Old people start to die. I remember, I think it was in October, when we buried the Hutchinson. A whole family taken by the disease in two days. Children and adults all like. Then there was a fire on the docks. What was it before? It is hard to remember anymore. Fear rose, and the decision was to made to send the children away by precaution. The governor has ordered the children to be sent away. Dick Skinner Smith and Nicholas Dooland agreed to lead the young ones to Boston. It was in December. I remember it because I wrote a long page in my journal that day. The 7th of December. Gold was already terrible then. It only went worse since. Spring never came. According to my notes, we are, we are already in May and snow and ice is everywhere. 
or only visit her for all these months is that French friend, friend of Governor Etienne Roulette, and even him cannot, even him cannot leave now. Minister Davin, Mr. Davenport was seized to conduct prayers and guidance in the sitting house. The survivors are all hungry and cold. Soon, some help should arrive by boat. Banishes from Europe. I wonder if they will ever be able to leave, like the rest of us. Lucy B. I still don't know who is Lucy. <laughs> I still don't know who is Lucy. Is this someone we met? I don't think it is. I'm sorry to think... I don't know. Is it actually sisters? Deborah and Lucy? Maybe. I'm checking if we have any upgrades. Other than evolution, but no. But no. But no. Okay, so we got the key. Let's go try it out. I feel like it's not for this one, though. Or it is. Okay. Banister garment. What? Why do they have banister garment in here? Hitting an enemy against two banishing points. Huh. I upgrade it. It needs elite gem. Don't have any of those now. Okay, so I use the key for that then. Seagulls! Stop it now! Oh, there's dogs actually there. Okay. Bird noises? Beep! Beep, 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 beep. Hello. Taking your stuff. Nice painting. Oh, is this a... Uh... Oh my god, let I beseech thee thine eyes open and let thine ears be up to end onto the I can't make sense what it says. That is made in this place. How therefore after O oh Lord God into the resting place though okay, yeah. Probably some Bible stuff. Ooh. Mine. Read. Hugh Bachelor's Diary, page 1. 5th of August, 1686. I think our move to meet Eden was a good thing. In Boston, Mercy was un not appreciated. She was even rejected. These people don't understand anything. Here, a new life awaits us, and the people of this small town seem more godly than former neighbors. I'm sure that Mercy will be listened to. Mercy? What did you, Mercy, do? New Bachelor's Diary, page 2. 16th of September, 1686. Our first month in New Eden went well. Marcy integrates her rather well. People speak to her, and even if they are sometimes a little confused by her words, they do not judge her, and they seem to be believe they seem to believe her when she speaks about her visions. 
Oh. <laughs> I guess these people are Puritans. True subjects of, of God. 28th of September, 1686. Today, Mercy refused to go out. She hardly spoke to me, locked in her thoughts. I think our Lord is communicating with her. Sometimes she reminds me of our mother. Even if she did not have divine visions, the same brightness shone in her eyes, the same brightness of holiness, sometimes I'm a little disappointed that I did not inherit our mother's wisdom. But in the end, it's better this way. I may, may not be God's direct intercolor in their low tutor, but I am protector of his mouthpiece. 2nd of October, 1686. Father and mother would be proud to see us. Mercy discussed with our companions and my reputation grows day by day. I'm becoming a respectable man in our community. I miss our parents sometimes and I wish they hadn't left so young. I wish they hadn't left so young. I wish I hadn't hadn't had to take care of Mar Mercy when I was old enough to get married. But then... <laughs> Then, but that was my destiny, and today I understand it, because today, Marcia and I form a divine duo, the word of God and its interpreter, interpreter, and when we die, we will be at the right hand of our Lord, proud of what we have accomplished during the time on earth. Okay. Snooping everyone's house. Snooping around. Snoop. Oh no, boobs, my nemesis. It's locked. This is locked from the inside. Okay. I wonder how we can unlock it. Oh, God. Hello. <laughs> how are you, Mr. Bachelor? I do not need the services of a heretic today. And nor do the people of New Eden. He seems pleasant. What does the teacher do with no kids to teach? What does a teacher do with no kids to teach? Teaching, sir, takes preparation. At some point in the future, the roads will open and the children will return, and I, sir, shall be prepared. Why didn't you leave with the kids? For some time, I wished I had. Watching the children walk away near broke my heart. For many weeks, I was lost. But the Lord had other plans for me. I know it now. And they are? You shall see for yourself soon enough that you may bear witness. Not ominous at all. What news around and about? I'll make no report to a troublemaker like you. What's with you not liking me? Why is there like random people just really hate me? <laughs> anything strange around here? Seen anything strange of late? Do you speak of the disease eating at the fabric of our fair community? We've sealed the well, closed homes and houses, and said our prayers. It has not worked. Apart from that, have you noticed anyone behaving strangely? I have to ask. I have seen the alewife, Mistress Barrow, lurking by the well, hands in her pockets, clutching at her herbals. And as I think of it, before his house burned down with his wife and brother in it, Caleb Watson and the alewife had a sharp exchange of words. It were as if she'd cursed him. If there is a Harrow's witch, I'd start looking there. I'll steer you away from the idea that the alewife is a witch. But I'll look into all the same. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. How many people have I killed people already? are suspicious of Lucy Barrow, but I am too. Let's see if the rumors are true. I don't think she's a witch, but, you know. Uh, I haven't killed anyone. I have done the ritual of blame. Smells even worse here. Holy shit. Uh. To view?
I don't think we did we did uh, Pennington and uh, thick skin. Oh, I'm missing one there. Wow. Uh, Pennington, thick skin. Beloved. So that's three. Three? I think. Because I had to also know thing. I think here was already dead. We did banish him. Oh wait, I also did it for here. Uh, I did this off stream. Which I'm very happy I did. But, so that's four. Because that one was... Uh, I know there's been some... A lot of racism in this game is happens, but that was a... A lot... That had a lot of bad words being said and a lot of bad talking and I'm really glad that I didn't actually do that on stream. Yeah. So about for it's justice. Start anew. Shout on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now, how would you leave? Leave. I can tell from your sorry demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. What's the word around here? Tell me a tale. What have you heard round about lately that might be of interest? Gossips for shite bags. Not being a shite bag. I don't gossip. Right. Anyone acting strange? The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. Okay. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. <laughs> you hear that? Good one, right? It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. Svenkas asked me, I do not feel like cooking. What should I have for dinner? Ah, the age-old dilemma of sustenance without the bother of preparation. Might I suggest the lazy wastelanders go to takeaway? Perhaps pizza, Chinese, or whatever irradiated scrap you can scrounge up for delivery. Bon appetit, or whatever's left of it in these dreary times. <laughs> That's your answer, Sven. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer. <laughs> Thanks for the pity. <laughs> yeah. Xander and Ruth Watson. <laughs> Family. <laughs> Feels terrible, doesn't it? Mistress Welcott, I write in all kindness to remind you gently of your outstanding bill for the repairs done to your boots. A late payment service, no one you must know it, and this is not the first time you have left me hanging. Perhaps you would be so kind to pay your bills of a morning before you open your bottle. 
Despite your cruel words, I remain your friend, Caleb Watson. There was no answer. Sure it was. Anonymous Renovous Note. Dear Mr. Watson, I'm responding to your letter regarding my abilities. I'm delighted to know that we share the same interest and it would be very nice to be able to meet you and discuss the object. Indeed, I would like to know more about the extent of your knowledge and your technical abilities. However, it, if possible, I would like you to meet you somewhere quiet and secluded, away from those would monger scandal, as, it, as I know that the work of artists can excite emotions, especially if not correctly understood. People are rarely objective, and I would not want this to taint the professionalism of our interview. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours sincerely, your friend and fellow craftsman. You should have something good. Feels terrible, doesn't it? Dear Mr. Watson, I hear herewith write to you personally to thank you for your diligence, application, and hard work towards building a new future for the company. Mastery for craft is, as I'm sure you know, a sign of good godliness and journey as day follows night. A village of well shown pro Why is the music getting so intense? <laughs> Well, the well shot prisoners is your sign of Lord's prosperity. With my sincere salutations, the RT, Honorable Fairfax Haskell, Governor of the New Eden. It sounds good. Squeeze. Let's squeeze. Hey, it wasn't a medallion. A medallion found in Kells Watson Cobbler Box. Engraved with initials R W and contain a lock of blonde hair. It is in very poor work condition. The locket or the hair? Caleb's love letter. Ruth, I have long considered sending you this letter at all as I can only ma <laughs> It's the music sound is so intense! <laughs> As I can only imagine how it will make you suffer, but I believe that an omission of the truth is a lie in the eyes of God, and so a sin. Even if pretending nothing is wrong would be easier on us all. Alexander is unfaithful. He sees harlots behind your back. There, the truth is out. I've been long waiting. I have been long familiar with Alexander's depravity. He might be charming and quick-witted, but his soul is de defective, and God's and God has rejected him. No matter what the town might want to say about you, I know that you are pure, and your soul, your soul untouched, right and godly. I admire your grace and purity of your heart as revealed in your words and your actions. The world fades around your presence and my love is ever-growing. My home is always open to you, dear Ruth, as is my heart. Caleb Being Watson. courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Fear not. Personal experience. We'll go off soon. Don't go there. They both will. Norky? Oh. Okay. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. It's bones. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. Welcome back, Lovey. How was the nap? How was the resting? How was CSI? Was there enhancing doing? Funeral note. Notice here. Here, year, the deaths of subsequent funerals have taken place of Alexander Watson and Ruth Watson, wife and brother to shoemaker Caleb Watson. Uh, both dead tragically in the fire at the Watson's house and buried with the dignity before Caleb, Caleb and his friends and the neighbors and the eyes of Lord of God's Acre. Ruth is remembered as a devoted wife and kind and gentle presence in her company. Alexander is remembered as a troubled man of bottled bound who caused much ex vexation and was given a great sin. Yet, who redeemed himself at the end by rushing heedless into the flames and into future effort to save his sister-in-law. We pray for their acceptance at the right hand of God. Ruth and Alexander Watson, the cobbler's wife and brother. He was grieving. He's surely haunted. He's surely haunted. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? 
I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. If I bought the tripod on human though, nice! I hope you enjoy it. This you got the one we'll have to choose for Froggy's first though. It's wrong, mm. wrong, I tell you. Can I read this? Yes. Hi. You've done enough sniffing. Hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. <laughs> you. <laughs> you said you had no secrets. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox Stop sniffing me. And a pox on your questions, too. You're not taking head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. Where do you have bones? There's bond debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I found a love letter. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Will you tell the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. And you found the ghost. It's in this dude. Yeah, I was thinking the same. I was thinking the same. The ghost might be in him. He might be possessed. I found a funeral note. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. They must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bad brother. And shite on you, too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. <laughs> God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. A buried... A buried all... Quiet, you. And you can shite off, taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. Ah, oh, what's going on with him, though? Because he's like two personalities. Fear not. Hello. Whoa. Give us this day or Did you pass air that much that your coat just bread. flipped? Do you want us to stop? I should have the yeast. You know it, Mistress Barrow. You know it full well. If you want yeast, then grow your own. Just stick some in a jar and grow it, and you'll have it forever. Now, Mr. Cottle, and I am vexed. Go home. Go back to your work. Go to hell for all I care. Just go away. Sorry, I got uh, amazed by that the audio changed because we went indoors. <laughs> That's amazing. Harry Cottle's Bible. Matthew 444? Good luck in Boston. Don't forget I believe in you as well as I believe in him. 
Aspen. Okay. I'm a snooping. Snooping and taking, I mean borrowing your stuff. Aspen letter to Perry Cottrell, July of 1686. My dear Perry, I'm writing this letter to you to you, so you will take it with you to the new world and not forget the old, old woman I am. I'm so proud of you. You're no longer the little boy I picked off the streets. You're now a complete and passionate man. I'm sure that the new world will bring you to the meaning that you seek and that you will be the most talented baker in your area. Be as passionate as you are now. Remain dignified in the face of adversity and pay tribute to this beautiful calling of ours. Don't forget the beating Forget that feeding others is an honorable mission and the Lord is watching over you. Visit me one day if you can, but above all, write to me. I wish you the best of luck, Aspen. Watching stuff. I was just seeing if there is this was like locked area, but no, I didn't get through there. Anything else in here? All right. What if this? Because we know that the shoemaker is likely possessed but because there are ghost wards everywhere in this area so what if the ghost is actually stuck in him he can't get out the fuck did i break what is this place Bit of money, I guess. Okay. Oh, you couldn't get here without. Ah, oh, okay. Ooh. Seagulls. Good day, sir. Good day, uh, madam. Mistress, Lucy Barrow, the alewife. Red McGrath, the banisher. Alewife, is it? I'd never have guessed from looking at you. And what does an alewife look like, Mr. Banisher? She's got you there. <laughs> uh, tell me about your work. Tell me about yourself. About your work. What are you, the census taker? I'm Lucy Barrow. I'm earnest, proud, clever. I'm a widow of 41. My husband and I ran a tavern in England. Lucy. I was the brains. He was... Well, he was there. And if you call me Widow Barrow, I'll fetch my shears and dock your chestnuts. What brought you to New Eden? Freedom. Prosperity. The chance to watch good Puritan men drink till they are sick, even as they fill my purse. And chestnuts. I came for chestnuts. <laughs> uh, what's everyone's favorite pizza? Yours is carnivore. It's a quarter bacon, quarter chicken, quarter shor shorma, shorma, and quarter pepperoni. Um, mine is salami, ham, feta cheese, mushrooms, and a little bit of olives. Sometimes olives, and a little bit of olive blue cheese. But that's like the trashiest kind of pizza, pizza I like to get. If I get a pizza from a pizza place, 
But if I make one, then I just, you know, salami, paprika, uh, cheese, and mushrooms. As in paprika, but I mean sweet paprika. Um, I found writings about New Eden. I found yeah, we the did. Journal. It was written by someone who signed Lucy B. W. What did it say? The writer spoke of hunger, harsh winters, bad dreams. If I remember rightly, they described these nightmares as loathsumptuous. A stupid word. I made it up. I'd rather you hadn't read that. It belongs to me. You write well. Perhaps there's a book in you, a novel. All the rage in London, I'm told. <laughs> a book, he says. The world needs ale, Mr. McCraith. It does not need books. Okay. What's the word around here? Now, I happen to know that the alewife hears stories others don't. So, what's new? Want a story, do you? All right. Recently, I saw Phoebe Walcott walking strangely. She was hiding something under her coat. I don't know what it was, but she went into her barn, and when she came out, she no longer had it. I've seen her repeat the deed on several occasions. Not that I'm counting, nor that I care. About the Harrows? How's life in the Harrows? As sweet as you would wish. When is life as sweet as one could wish? Well, that depends on how you define sweetness. Sweeter ale sells better. But the sweetness makes it weaker. About the Governor Haskell. Tell me about the Governor. Not a big ale drinker, I imagine. Sadly, no. Perhaps if he had been, he might not have been such an arseworm. He's a man afraid of me. An educated woman. He pries comes calling to check the contents of my pot. He's afraid. A scared little man. I am a woman of brains and means, but despite that, nay, because of it, I fear the witch hunt. Yeah. Bigger does not lose the end. Lose the end of it. What can you tell me about Lamentation Haskell? I hardly know him. He doesn't talk much. I suspect he's smart, but it's hard to tell. He's a little boy. Adorable, of course, but hardly interesting. All right. Show me your wares. Would you be interested in a trade at all? What do you need? What do you have? I actually don't know what I would be needing. What do I need? Elite gems. Well, we'll probably get those gasly concentrations. Void splinter. Um, wrong button. Elite gem. Don't need anything for that. everything for that. <laughs> oh yeah, this is on max level. Relate gem. I think we got everything. Except the more rare ingredients. But so that means I could probably sell her some stuff. Could probably sell some. Wrong button. Would you be interested in a trade at all? What? Yes. yes. Hmm. 
right? I'll take my leave of you for now. And I of you. I can see there's the entrance, but just wanted to see if there's something behind. Hi. Oh, this is your house. It's Lummy and his daddy. is really intense for some reason time to time. So what's our governor hiding? Is it his shirt on the floor? <gasps> I was like, oh my god, he's a witch. Because he has a floating basket, but no, it's hanging actually from the stick. Oh, you got me there. You got me there, governor. Something. Oh, there. Okay. You have anything new, Lamy? Yes. No, you don't have anything new. Okay. Goodbye. Good day to you, Lamy. Good day to you, sir. He has a really familiar voice. Lamy has really familiar voice. Yeah, we went around. No? Okay. Hi. Oh, the famed and famous banisher. The one and only Red McWraith. Have we met? I was at the meeting house. You've got guts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, politeness gives me the shits. I'm Phoebe Walcott. I buy and sell. Now then, what's your pleasure? Have you been trading long? Have you been trading in New Eden long? Forever and a day, your Highlander Highness. I belong to this land, body and soul, and can no longer tell where I end and it begins. Really? Huh? <laughs> of course not. Don't be so gullible. Life makes more sense to the cynic. Sense of humor won't go amiss, neither. Folk here are too grim to notice how charming and funny I am. Oh, eight years, if you must know, of the third settlement. I was one of the first to arrive. And look how far we've come since. Also, chat. She has the whistle necklace thing. What can you tell me about the community here? Like whom? About the governor? I bet you tell me what you know of Governor Haskell. That kind, kind man. He's been so good to me. He's all vapor and bounce. <laughs> but I'd love me. Lammy Haskell. Any thoughts about him? Him? He's so deep in his father's shadow, you'd barely know he were there. Okay, but yourself. And how are you? I'm doing my best to bring a little joy to the world. What with all the gloom. And how's that going for you? Badly. Okay. What do you sell? May I see your wares? I'm a shopkeeper, aren't I? Yes, you may see my wares. <gasps> Treasure map, chat.
You do have new weapons. What is that? Art supplies. Oh yeah, I need those for the... One of the quests I got. I'll just buy these because they are part of the achievements you can get. I could sell these that I got, but nah. You were a gift. We'll meet again. You mind your good self, dear. There. Everyone should be pleased. I'm yeah. sure she will. Especially coming from you. What? Nothing. Antia, please. Okay, where am I heading now? Over there, okay. Check what was there. One more way. Mrs. Baru. All right. All right, you. Up and. Hmm. Is it this house? Then? The map is a little bit confusing. Yeah, it's this house. Oh yeah, because there's a... Oh! I didn't see this. Okay. It's a secret pathway. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Right. Let's head to God's Acre then. Talk to you. Good day to you, sir. Yeah. Wise. Red McCreath. You? A Perry Cottle, owning the baker. What are you doing out here in the rustics? I'm a banisher. I'm looking for ghosts. I find no ghosts here, sir. Nor demons. The governor, in his piety, sees to that. I envy your faith, Mr. Cottle. How's that working out so far? So you're a baker? A man can do any number of things with his life. What drew you to baking? Oh, any of a dozen reasons. I'll not bore you with all thirteen. That's also how old I was when my parents died. I needed work. The baker needed a boy. He was a hard man. But his wife was a pure-hearted woman. Taught me well. It is hard work, but I love it. I love it, dear. What brought you to New Eden? Were they short a baker? Elsewhere, folks backslide. Here, we know the value of our daily bread, of God's own bounty. Here, the baker is near in position to a minister. Okay. It's the word around here. What's the word around here? Ah, it's gossip you want. Mm, so be it. Recently, as I made my way to the mill, I saw Ishmael Lohr sneak into Phoebe Walcott's barn, his arms laden. Now, I don't, don't know what he carried, but since then, he has seemed skittish. We haven't met this Merlin yet, I think. But the Harrows. How's life in the Harrows? Does it taste sweet now? Or does it taste bitter yet? Life in the Harrows, sir, tastes like hard work. And so it bloody should. About the Governor Haskell? What can you tell me about the Governor? Pious man of great eloquence. He likes a sour loaf, fresh from the oven, so warm the butter melts right through. 
I trust him completely. He's devoted, he serves his congregation, diligent and mindful. Just like me. But let me ask you. What can you tell me about Lamentation Haskell? He seems a good boy. Peculiar. Not the brightest. He's not like his father. Oh, no, not at all. I think he's very smart. I should go. And I must work. I think he is clever. Also, I saw someone walking behind me. But that place is still locked. Yeah. That place is still locked. Wait, who are you? Can't talk to you. Ghosts. Right. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. He's possessed, he's haunted. He might be possessed. I'm thinking possession. But not demonic, no mirror or whatnot. Mm, agreed. Possession is plausible. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. Likely he might be possessed. What's this area? It's locked. I need to find the key to open this. You may know. Why could I do that? Just checking if there was any loot. Bird noises. God's acre. God's acre. Well, that's not ominous at all. It's a doll. Too heavy to lower from your side. Get into those bug noises. That's where we came from. Alright, okay. Did we go around then? No. Sven, we don't have actually that here. I don't think we even have that here. We don't use that. going around. <sighs> I don't know if we have that. And I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that wouldn't work on Twitch, unfortunately. Because Twitch works as, un as intended, of course. That's just how Twitch works. That is just how Twitch works. Oh, 
Hold on. I got message about something. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Let's go. Because I also noticed when I was typing now in chat, it was also like really laggy when I tried to write in chat. So I have restarted my browser, I have like reloaded, I have been going out and in and everything. But for some reason it's just broken today. It's LVD40, but I think CRC products are more popular in Finland. Sure. I know exactly what that is. 100%. I know what CRC is. I, I buy those kind of products all the time. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth. And whatever got Kate up acting so strange. I just realized. <laughs> just remember. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> I don't know if you remember. <laughs> Where is it? The graveyard we passed and going to the 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 for for what the hell is the for Jericho? There's the there's the little graveyard. Was it here? Where was it again? Find Jericho! Find Jericho! Nevertheless, I think it was somewhere here. Right here. Um, there was the two uh, more ex expensive graveyard uh, gravestones, if you remember. And I remember that it said like Ethel or something on one of the stones. And now it hit me. It was the gravestones of the people from the Flight Manor. It was their gravestones. The ones we the, the haunting case we just did earlier today. With the with the creature from the void. You don't remember. You don't remember the haunting case or the gravestones. I don't know, I just said that just suddenly, you know, my brain works that way that it might be thinking about somewhere in the back of my head and suddenly it just pops to the, you know, the front and then it's like, whoop, it comes out. It just comes out like that. Someone's been doing some undertaking. In New Eden, there's much to be done. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, it works! Hey, the buffering works! <laughs> Seek fluid intake. Thank you, Ruta. What, what do you mean, posture check? I'm not shrimping. Chat, no shrimping allowed. I should probably lift my legs after. How dare you. Your shooter. You're within gun range, Red. I know. Yeah. No, you won't. Green robbers. Oh. Yes. But what exactly were they stealing? Who knows? See a door. 
I don't want to take the door. No, it's at the other side. Let me take the door. Ruth Watson. There's another grave beneath it. Huh? Anthea, I don't like it when you just pop somewhere. And I have no clue where. Oh, there. Huh? Where, Roar? Well. Cable stuck. I can see why, okay. Why about? I don't know how the cables keep on moving. Who <laughs> had the shrimp goo from the root cause? <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so, hold on, before I go there, there's something else for us to check out here. It's a big gravestone. Just a box. Also, chat, while I was having a break, I saw a dog outside. I saw a dog outside. <laughs> I was just watching behind the blinds. I'm gonna wake up. It looked like a... Uh... You always thought that I live in the middle of forest and feel like I have no neighbors or anything like that. No, I live in the middle of a uh, town. There yeah, goes a uh, walk path right behind. Right behind, I don't know. At, at my backyard, basically. Picking up the check the danger is why it's outside. No, I am just the <laughs> I am the meme of the guy staring behind the blinds as you know, just smiling at the people. Also, I can hear the where is it? Right, right behind there. Oh, it's just a spirit. Okay. Never mind. I'll be the old lady that call watches kids play outside being too loud and then I call their parents. No, I don't care. Hearing <laughs> this. Night was more like ding 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 ding. There's already school right next to where I live, so, you know, it was just finished up and the kids, the new students and teachers are now there. And I actually don't hear anything from there. Which I'm very surprised about, because last time when it was still there, I could hear the bell occasionally, and I would be just, you know, hitting with the PTSD.
We Highland Kiss for you. If Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Lovely. Decoys to distract wayward spectres. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Lemmy? Could be Lemmy. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. Aren't there bodies right here? Whose bodies are these then? bodies are these then? First time you saw this cemetery you chose to they sure to show it place and did even more short job when burying these bodies. I think something happened that caused it. <laughs> That's what I feel like. But don't tell. No telling. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. This way. More of them. No, I'm not going there. You go low. Oh. I'm going this way and you can't stop me! You don't think New Line has a bad seismic activity to your knowledge? Yeah, but... There's a ton of supernatural stuff happening happening in here, so <laughs> would be that sort of big of a surprise that the ghost did something. A ghost. We just think clear of the heists. Maybe he's just hoarding. Droplets. Patience is the key. Or not. Patience is the key. Or. RNG. Hello. What's in here? Farmer. Fellow hoarders. <laughs> ah, there's the cursed altar. Which I went all in. <sighs> oh my, I must not. No, no, Goo, I'm not saying that. No, no, no. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Thanks, Bud Spot. Wow! Brutus sniped you both! But this is giving me the willies. Is it cost? You murdered everyone else, it seems. Yep. Need one more doll. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. Oh. 
Ruja murdering you all reminded me. We do still have one emote slot and six animated emote slots. So I do need the uh, suggestions in the Discord if you guys have something. I already have like two in my mind. I already have like two in my mind. I keep forgetting about. But um but yeah if you guys do have some suggestions do post them over on Discord in the channel suggestions channel. Channel ideas? What the hell is the channel called? <laughs> stream ideas? Stream suggestions? I know my Discord channel, server, I mean. I totally didn't work on it yesterday, and then I totally remember everything. Oh, there's the doll. Hey, we got the doll. I missed out that. Come on. So I was thinking of... Um... You know what, maybe I will just keep the secret. I went wrong way. You are gone, command you. Show me what you got. Sixty charm. Damage dealt by anti is increased by six percent against full health enemies. It's not bad. Okay, with the group, keep secrets out there so everyone knows. No. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I could have just went over there. Ah, oh, well. Here. Yeah, kind of graveyard as God's Acre. I just realized. That's quite of a name. I didn't just destroy some grave mark marks. No, I didn't do it. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. I don't care. Try this on for size. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that one. Oh, fuck. No. No. Dead. Yeah. 
Nah. Ini speedy. And the path between the cars. Oh, I was supposed to not touch them. I was not supposed to touch them? Okay. I was like, ooh, loot. And touched them. Demonology. I should have known. Been having a little bit of fun in here. Of course. There was a ghost or going. Pss, pss, pss. Two paths. Hold on. I thought it was going around. <gasps> Chests. We almost missed out on the chest chat. I'm sitting. My back is starting to hurt. Harvester. He's <gasps> persistent. I'll grant him that. Yeah, I remember him. Oh, 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 oh. No. Not the burbs. Not the burbs. No. This isn't over yet. No. Summoning dudes as well. Any bods out saying hi? Exactly. <laughs> when your freaking birds does here. Yeah. Crows answer its call. He's the bird man. Woo! Reinforcements. Why is there no music? Ma, ma, ma. Come on. Stay down. Ow! <laughs> oh, I hate those things. Wasn't your first. Won't be your last. Aye. Thank you. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Part of the story is waiting to be revealed. Let's wait, we got an item. What person are you of the effect is increased by 70%? Ooh. Ah, it's good though. It affects wisdom. Use anti sponge damage to switch damage. Ah, nice. We can upgrade it. We can upgrade it. Okay. 
Did he get that new weapon? Double bangs. If the enemy with melee attack just damage off rifle next shot by 100%. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see, chat. There's gonna be probably noises. Just be aware. Oh, that fella. You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. All right. Parchment. You're missing a thing. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Parchment. An eight parchment is much and discolored on which is written and read the instruction for the inca incantation of the lesser Palangenesis, a powerful resurrection ritual. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser Palangenesis. The ritual of that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. Well, we got the ritual for Amtia now. <laughs> Red had a crunk moment. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, no, I pre <laughs> clicked wrong button. Why did I click on that? Unclean yeah, we. we spirit, leave now. I had a brain moment. I failed this one all right. Yeah. He me show Marhunyanish. Sprinkle a little salt. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart. Onto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. What if it's all of them? Oh, Caleb, what did you do? Why did he take the bones from both of the... Coffins? <laughs> Caleb, please. You do... Uh, maybe they were mixed or something, I don't know, because they were... They did have... They were slided down from there. Crave spots. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm sure it's fine. Hmm. I'm sure it's fine, doesn't matter, right? Bones are bones.
That's where I came from, right? Yeah. Rudolph, did you ever find out what's the with these little spirits? Do they just hang around? Are they there just to hang around, or do they actually show something? Because I'm I'm never really sure. Sometimes it seems like they hang around close to the cursed uh, chests. Huh? Otherwise, nothing else. This on for size. Oh, you're up there. Oh, it's a farmer. Reinforcements. It's weird. Or not. I suspect it's beyond me. It's not, but we agreed you won't need it. Besides, Caleb's work was poor. Your work is good. A ritual like that. Good is not a word that comes to mind. I will probably do a uh, run alone or onto YouTube that. Um, where I will Something just resurrect nearby. you. Where is it? Is that I can just imagine the people who have chosen like, oh, we will just resurrect oh, Anthea back and then they see the ritual, ritual what happened there. Sure. I wonder if that would change their mind. Because at this point they have already decided, like, no, no, we will do it, we will do it. Why would you sell to meat, Sven, if everybody had the same tree? Well, not the same tree, but their own tree. They could be growing meat on that too. But you know, a meat tree sounds pretty good otherwise. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Sup, Caleb? Shite off. I know you're not Caleb. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tail short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? You share Caleb's body. Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. But? I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? How did it happen? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, of course he did. <laughs> There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. 
I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. In you? So they are all there. <laughs> What's your death? You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. It's an awful way to go. There's, there's... Hey, what are you doing? Where was Caleb? And where was Caleb while all this was happening? He was there. He stood rooted in place, frozen in fear. And then it was too late. He could do nothing but watch us burn. Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. Thank you, Ruta. It's when I do know. I do know that Manora streams. I'm a lot to be Dutch too. What? <laughs> what does that mean? If I can say hello, you can't. Hello? Does Caleb deserve this? Yay! I I passed. Yeah, but we say hello in Finnish anyway, which means like hello when to your phone. Like you go hello if they are there. <laughs> Does Caleb deserve this? Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. So oh, nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine and killed it. Now our love's reborn and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cat. Shite on him. Let him suffer. Also, Sven, uh, it's for up to me who gets a shout out. So please do not go in the chat telling us who to get shout outs for. All right. Uh, why keep Ruth here? You use the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. What of Ruth's desire? You have failed. <laughs> Accent box is nice, yes. Well, what of Ruth's desire? You have failed. What of Ruth's desire? I understand your anger. More so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me. But he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. Bot spot, chill out! <laughs> Bot spot, please! <laughs> Give me a second. Um, where is it? There you go.
<laughs> What's the word? Or I like how we can just give a have some gossip with him. You're well placed to see what goes on around here. Help me out. Have you seen anything noteworthy? I've made a point of keeping people away, but I, I seek things, and I take note. Did he just switch out? Oh great, no, he's Alexander now. About Lammy Haskell. Lammy Haskell. Any thoughts about him? The Haskell boy? What about him? He's weird. Talked with Caleb about nonsense. Both of them were full of shite. That well, governor. What's your take on the governor? My brother gave him the glad hand act and the governor lapped it up. Haskell's opinion of himself is far too high. To win his favor, you need only prop him up. He dragged my name through the dirt. Shite on him and his so-called eloquence. What use is a silver tongue when your heart is yellow? At the settlers. Tell me about folk here. Who stands out for you? What think you of them? What think I of they who shunned me? Gulled by my black-mouthed brother. What think I of malicious fools for whom I had to die to be redeemed? I'd say a curse upon them. <laughs> but tis too late. The curse has already come. Right, yeah, about the colony. How goes the settlement, would you say? It's going to hell in a shitting handcart. Not that I care, mind. But there's sport in guessing who shall live and who shall die. Hope they find that witch, though. Can't have witches about the place doing the devil's work. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Stop pushing me! <laughs> Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Can I read this? Yes. So who was that then? It was so random. Emperor, you just had to go rawr. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. <laughs> it's plain wrong. <laughs> it's just plain wrong. I can't find an angle with that, isn't it just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost, Ty, we can talk to her. That does feel a little bit wrong. Yes. Even I can do it, yes. Very cute, yes, yes. <laughs> Who came up with this part of the quest line, I swear? Oh my god. Two ghosts, your wife and your brother having an affair inside your body. While you're just watching there, like, okay. Oh, wait, this is our house. <laughs> oh, wait, actually. Because I have some gear to upgrade. Yeah. And then it needs elite gems. Oh my god. They're always needing other gems. Find the burnt house. Burn it, who's? Oh, it's probably the one here. that burned down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. A 
something has me. Wards. Oh, yeah. There's wards all the time. Still haven't changed. Must be way to it. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Oh, now we can destroy some wards. The ghost Wars. wards feel far away from here. Wards. I find it kind of funny that we are now little by little removing, removing, <laughs> removing their, <laughs> their um, ghost wards. Because first, like, Auntie Anne was like, let's not remove them. And now we're like, oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I randomly sounded something went into my throat. It's a bird. Bird cage. A few bird cages. my roar. I just I just said roar. Roar. Oh no. Can't get through there. Same row you got earlier, yes. <laughs> Why are you disappointed? Basically, Vanara, it took the 10 that you had. What? How do I... What? There, I didn't see that. Did I push it too far? Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did push it too far. Roots burnt journal. Caleb and I had another discussion this morning. I went to walk and caught him sobbing in the garden. When I came back, 
He apologized and I took that badly too. He's kind and romantic and listens well, which is why I married him, but I am sometimes uncomfortable. He is my husband and I am his wife, a woman to be loved and not an icon to be worshipped. Oh, Ruth. Oh, poor Ruth. Give me a second, shut. Twitch dashboard is just broken today. Everything is broken. Okay, we can use the ghost stuff here. Time must be nearby. Smash. It's marked. It's marked there. I didn't see because I was trying to fix up the... Ah, I see. Thank you for lurking. Complete book of birds. Burbs? There are seagulls! A beautiful homemade illustrated compendium of the birds of New Eden. Complete with photos found to match the drawings. Complete? Not quite. Two pages are missing feathers. Bone fragger crow and herring gull. This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Yes, but he sometimes drops by to say hello. Ah! Ruth Watson's heart. A withered human heart, it once belonged to Ruth Watson. This die is dust with the sense of the ghost. Yep. Of course. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. Lovely. Nice. You, what do you have there? Heart. Stop right there, you rank rump. Whatever you found, it ain't yours. You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stole your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die. I'm in charge here. No. Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Oh, go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. You again. <laughs> I'll be That's so funny. Hello. Okay. Make manifest. Her heart! Give it back! A little bit of salt on the heart.
He can foolish his hookup. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Not the ghost of Ruth. Help me, please. Uh, about Caleb's letter. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? It tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? When did you uncover the lie? When did you learn that Caleb had lied to you about his brother's infidelity? Who goes worse shod than the shoemaker's wife? There was no one moment. One day I knew what he'd done. And knew I'd known it for the longest time. Alexander had his flaws, but he loved the whole of me. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Hey there, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Who taught Caleb the ritual? Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Think about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Lammy Haskell? Wait, Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual? After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. And to bring closure. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Let's just wait for ads to be over before I choose because this is really like um technically if we blame Caleb all of them gets removed but I don't think we should banish Alexander he he was just heartbroken and he was done wrong you vote to choose? No. <laughs> I'll just wait. I'm just waiting for ads to be over, you know, so. Even the unsubs see the solution. Solution to conclusion. Boo. I know. I'm so boring. Hope you guys' Friday is going well. I still would need to go to the post office today. Get my package. But my shoes are still wet. At least they were at the morning. Alright. Alright, so we learned that...
Caleb was a big, big liar. So the actual dude. And his brother, Alexander, took over his body. When he was trying to, Caleb was trying to do the ritual to resurrect Ruth, who they both loved. But apparently Alexander finished up the ritual after taking over Caleb's body. And now they are all three in Caleb's body. <laughs> and we learned that Caleb got the ritual from Lammy. Because he was being too nice. Uh, so I think we are going to just ascend Alexander. I don't see a reason to banish him. Alexander, you didn't kill anyone. You wronged, but Ruth owes you not. Not her life, nor her death. I'm not my brother. I am the man who runs into the burning house. Ruth owes us nothing. But my love is true and... His is not. Your love is not measured by what you win. It's measured by what you're willing to let go. I... I'm sorry, Ruth. You deserved better. Better than him. Better than me. Send me away, Banisher. Let the devil stoke the flames of hell for me. And we'll see if I burn. Take your head out your arse, you're not that important. Right, hold still, both of you. Let me pry you all apart. You have been here. Okay. Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? That you, Caleb? I, I, I think... Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're not entirely innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. I... You were in it too. He ruined my name, ruined my flesh, ruined my wife. You gave him a pat on the cheek of his ass and, and sent him on his way. I am an, an imperfect man. My brother was a bastard and, and sly and he tricked you onto his side. What does that make you? I too am an imperfect man. Have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? Hey. You just saw the Terminator theme is a royal gaming coming. Wasn't it already out? I thought it was already out. I mean, we've seen some horrors, but that. This is the work. You're right. There's nothing I'd rather be doing. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Don't waver. We could win a battle, but we can't win the war. Nobody should conquer death. She was audibly busy today. Wait. Spectral stains. Haunted house. What? I'll check it out later. But I wanna go see if I can find Lammy first. In case if he actually comments something about what happened. Was it here where he lived? I forgot.
Uh, I think it was. Yeah. Since Lamy was the one who gave the ritual to the guy, I wonder if Lamy is actually at the main quest spot. He might be over there then. Wait, I heard, I heard a scribbling. I heard a scribbling. That's the governor. I don't want to talk to him yet. Where did Lamy go? Watch out, Wanora. Who are you? Other things. All is. All right, Speedy. Some do think? doctors got in a messy fight in the park out back. Ooh. I hope I hope everyone are okay. People don't their dogs, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that happened. One was yelling, a man was yelling, no one had control on their dogs. Sounds very lovely. Not. Yeah, there's been a situation where we had, like, uh, our family dogs in the same house. And, uh... The bigger dog was apparently, unfortunately, very jealous type. So it latched onto our dog that is much smaller. But both were fine. Both were fine. There was. It ended up fine, luckily, but it could have got really bad. But it happened so sudden, like, you know, everything else, everything was fine before it. I it just suddenly, it just went. Phew. Like, at a sudden. Yeah, I don't know where Lemmy is. <laughs> I just want to go talk to him first, but I guess not then. He's hiding. Hello. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? This is an unusual case. I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so, but the culprit was not responsible for the plague, at least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So? What are you waiting for? I'm not telling him. I don't have the full picture. I have the name. I don't have the full picture. When I do, I'll act. Come, you have the name. You have the proof. The matter is simple, is it not? Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. I didn't want to tell it! No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious, too curious at times, perhaps. But he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, Banisher. Find the real source of evil. Since when has the governor required proof? I'll get it. Mark me. I didn't want to tell him. I must find your son, governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. 
If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Yeah. Take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion. Can I check his room now again? Hmm. Well, we're we gonna go talk to him. Until it was his own son on the block. Who's he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him. There's a new haunting case over there. I was just checking out the, how many haunting cases there are. There's a new one. There's an unfinished one. Oh yeah, that's the art supplies. But I'm not doing them today. But yeah, the map system, the navigation is so good in this, when you just click on the highlight where you want to go, or what to follow, so. Oh my god, I just wish I hadn't, I had noticed it before. But in here you're starting to feel a little bit better, Venora. Yeah, I can the, so, the sounds of uh, when dogs start fighting is very loud and so, so sudden. So I can imagine I, I can imagine you understand that it stressed you out. Hell's balls! What happened here? Something's emanating from under there. No wonder this place <laughs> is off limits. Goddamn Anthea spawned! Right on my screen again. Sounds like the ground is hungry. There's a travel spot over there. See, you don't need normal seismic earthquake things happening. You just have the supernatural to do that. Oh, it's a plot, man. It's a blob! Uh -oh. Nice. Oh yeah, because we got the ring and I upgraded it. Now she does even bigger and stronger. The big explosion attack. That's where I'm going, okay. To do that from a ball, yeah. One of these must be Lammy's hideaway. <sighs> well, looks like he got a lot of ivy there, at least. Or it's over there. Here's the second one. Where's the I guess I'm there's three. Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. Someone off their heart. 
Okay, where's the ghost word? Can hear it. Sorry, not this time. Oh, it's over there. Sneaky. I don't think they are the same heart. Are they? Oh, they are. No. Yes? No, yes, they are. Okay. Something has me. Words. Words. Ah, uh, then. Okay. Words. You're on your own. Punch it. The ward's power is gone. What will I play after this? After I finish this game? Uh, well, I would love to us to finish up the council. But I did get a uh, key for uh, Thaumaturge. So I would need to play that as well. A draft from the invisible. Okay. They brought more friends. Of course, you did. Join in too. But I don't know, like, because uh, it said, like, we're only fifty one percent done with the game. So I don't know, does that mean the, the main quest line? At the bottom left there, mode completion. Or does it just mean that actually? I think it just means these. It doesn't mean the quest line. <laughs> I hope. Because <laughs> I'm like, we are only 50% way? What? Yeah, I didn't find the thing. Did you feel that? Invisible. It's close. I don't think so. I think we are close to the... I want to say like 70% done. I think that's my guess.
Okay, it's this way? No? Oh wait, there was the other house over there. Oh my god. I didn't check the other house. <laughs> I didn't check the other house! Oh my god, how do I- there we go. Oh, silly of me. Yeah, this house. No, the other house. Mm, yeah, that house. Bye, mate. You here? You were studying botany. Why botany? Maybe he wants to be a witch. Taking your stuff. Tools. A set of tools including a scalpel, a knife, magnifying glass and other objects. Herbalism book. A book on herbalism. Oh. Yes, squeezing through here. Fauna and flora, Corvus Corax and or common raven, omnivorous and opportunist by place and season, carrying insects, food and waste, grain, berries, fruit, eggs, and small animals. Oh, that's nice. That's part of the quest. Treasure map? What's that inside the house? Is it a lamentation's chest? Oh, that chest. Okay. The incisions are clean. The precision of an expert. There's magic here, though faint. That's a very stripy wolf. It's just noticed. Is he in Rulet Stutter? 18th May 1692. Mid years. Mid, mid years? <laughs> My dearest Lamy, it has been, as always, a great satisfaction to talk with you again. I love your enthusiasm and wit. You remind me of me when I was your age. So eager to know more about the greatest mysteries of, of our world. Of all worlds. I only wish I could have stayed longer, but I must go back to Providence. Until then, here are some quick notes I throw at you to quench your thirst. Some of the mere. Meager research on my humble self has been able to Seek gather with time and patience. Thank you, Mario. I believe it is fair to admit we know nearly nothing concerning the dreadful and probably only the rarest writings there to talk about. Is it mythical? Is it. What? Is it the uh, mythicized hell only the boldest dare to travel? And come back alive. Are all these among all these almost forgotten tales fragments of an unveiled or lost truth? I truly cannot say. But I know this, my dear Lummy. You and me are like Orpheus, ready to cross, for, ready to cross the forbidden waters and bring back the only fiance we really cherish. Knowledge. Ah, uh, to map those uncharted lands, to pass the threshold and bravely walk those forbidden deserts and icy rivers only the maddest poets sang about. See what stand beyond the comeback, the dream somewhere about it. What a thrill, my young friend, what a goal. If only I was younger, just like you, I would follow you into this untold journey. For now, I can only advise you to be careful. Yes, the threshold between our world and the other side is thinner in New Eden. That does not mean it will be easier to travel there. According to some of my research, some already tried in this area. Petty warlocks and puny witches. Maybe this is why the threshold is so thin. Maybe this is why the dead seem to be so easily allowed to walk in this land. Who can say for sure? 
Last week, while I was investigating on my own, I have clearly noticed some very peculiar vibrations coming from the ancient mill, located, located about a cliff by the seaside. Quite a creepy place, if you ask me. If you were to investigate further into the possibility to find a threshold to the mythical Avalu before we meet again, this could be the place to start. But be sure to be prepared, my dear boy. My old heart could not bear to lose another promising and beloved colleague. Until we meet again, I can but advise you to keep all this secret as pleasant and gentle as they are. Too many of your local friends would not welcome the kind of knowledge you and me both share so, share so cheerfully. Yours as always, Etienne Roulette. I don't know, Mean anything to you? Not a thing. You mentioned an old mill. You seem fascinated by the place. Isn't that all the two under the name for the void? Nothing incriminating. Yet. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson's? Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. He also got the note. Let me note. This place is even more fascinating than I imagined. So many unanswered questions waiting to be answered. Monsieur, Monsieur Roulette was right. I'm sure the tragic history of the old mill has much to do with it. I shall go there, I shall do my work there, unmolested by suspicions and uns unscientific neighbors. There's so much to do. Because we're heading to the mill. I swear if the mill actually is the ship. I swear if the ship is <laughs> actually in the middle. I doubt, but you know. Very nice, yes. Beep, 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 beep. Oh no! Rip. Rip the heist. What the fuck? What are you? Did we miss a few? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's an angry. They never learn, do they? Spectre going for a meat suit. Watch out, Spectre possession. What? So many. Why a mill? Away from the village. Perfect for his research. Perfect to hide secrets. Well, he's not here secrets. for pleasure, that's for sure. No, the secrets. Peaceful. Like home on a good day. <laughs> that was hilly, mine. He felt like playing with the lambs. Blair preferred to feed them. And I was too busy dreaming. And you? I cooked them for dinner. The lambs, I mean. Oh, the girls were furious. Yes, but they weren't hungry.
It does look very pretty in here, though. It is very pretty. Yeah! Sneakies! You're done! Oh, it's a red zone. Spectral nest. I better command them to show themselves. Right, Lummy, you must stop joining heist rehab time. <laughs> what, so you can hoard them? Hoard them all droplets. Yeah, hurting is faster than gambling in terms of earning. True. Oh, there's survivors. Oh, but not today. I'll save them some other time. Works. Works. Watch out! Spectre position. They brought more friends. Of course they did. Well, it'd be silly if they didn't. Should we expect up there? A gateway to the mythical Aranu, whatever that is. Otherwise, terrible tragedy, dark doings, sick secrets, and a wild guess. Secrets, chat. Naughty secrets. We also see something sparkling here. Challenge. These remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. Farmer? No? But you're a blob, aren't you? Because you're so angry. Angry blob! Island case for you. Watch out! We made it angry. Angry blob. Is someone else? How are you? Did we miss a few? Only more. Oh boy, let me what did you do? I heard you. How do I get you maybe from here? No, absolutely not. Just okay. 
Lammy, my dear. Dear boy, what did you do? Hmm, bitch, I think there might be the treasure. Here, ghost orc. Looks derelict. Is he really inside? Silence and the campfire. Just what Doctor Duarte ordered. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, Red? I just wonder how was the how is the campfire already making campfire noises without it being lit? Asking for a friend. Of course it's not ghost wards. I cannot manifest. Okay, where are they? Where them ghost works at? Something has me. Words. Words. I also hear that one. I hear the blinks. I can manifest now. Hooray! Things here. Secret chest. I do hear a ghost chest as well, though. Guess we're not going that way. There should be a way up here. Are we going from here or? I think I can hear uh, the ghost word, most likely. The ghost chest.
Might be a chest somewhere. Oh. Let's see if I can aim something from the horn. What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. Let's note. 5th September 1690. I was not mistaken about the hidden potential in this region. The veil between Avalu and our world is approximately thin and therefore conducted the breach. The mad ambition of Cobble Pro Proctor only served to crack this already existing fragility even further. Poor amateurs. Now they are punished for eternity. However, thanks to their efforts, I will be able to gain a great deal of knowledge about the rule and succeed where everyone else failed. I requested him to help of Ask Haskell's son, who, unlike this stupid, his stupid father, has potential and therefore can be of great use to me. Together, we can achieve great things. This relay lad seems dangerous. His apprentice seems to be following him down the same path. There's the ghost chest. I, I knew it. I heard one. Let me symbol results. First symbol, drawing of a witch symbol. Ineff ineffective to be paired first with another symbol. A double effect. Simple. Second symbol, drawing a demolition symbol. Absolute failure. Third symbol, trying of other demolition symbol. Works if weakly. Fourth symbol, trying of a first and third symbol mixed together. And the symbol is circled. Try this. Boy. Lesser punches is translated. An attempt to translate the lesser punches ritual into common English. Looks like Lamy was trying to translate some sort of ritual. Not any ritual. This is the lesser palingenesis. Uh. I guess no one warned Lamy that grimy reincarnation rituals were not without risk. Studies of the on the void, the collection of studies about the void. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what the void was also named. In one of the notes we found. That the void has many names. I'll finish ghost ward. Unfinished ghost ward. More ghost wards. Someone was being extra careful. Let me know. 10th June 1695. I can wait no longer. Father may preach or loll about with this selected friend in town, but words will not save these people. You have the power and duty to act, not to cover with fear for our reputations. But father has always feared the loss of reputation to the point of abandoning his craft, leaving me to learn it in secret. For shame, if my father will not act, if, if my father will not act, then I will. LH. He doesn't speak well of his dad. Music power? He thought he was better. He thought he was better. That's not a particularly difficult task, in fairness. <laughs> The Book of Lesser Major of Affirmation, the Book of Lesser Affirmations by Ono Macritus. So, what are you hiding in here, evil spawn? Glancing at the original writing, Lamy's work was poor. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. Oh boy. Strong man. Ivy as well. Okay. 
Oh, 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 he just took us down. Oh my god. I thought he would jump over. won't remain visible for long. Here, I found something. Hold on, I'm just gonna touch the ivy first. Two roots. Looks like two. Fancy my own garden. Trust me, you don't want a garden. A certain's notebook, page 6, January 6, 1638. The day arrives, soon our favorites are all fair the rewarded with the great gift. The company company assembled, we ready the ritual. Ethel and Anton have much to discuss aside. I care not, as our life begins. It's Ethel again! <laughs> God damn Ethel. Should be useful. Windmill crank. I guess it could be useful. Use it from the bottom. It's just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? More magic muckery. What exactly was he up to? He's trying to bring back his mom or something? My Mr. Uh, test 17. The subject image relations might present no herbs have no practical effects on its senses. This 18 failed once more, yet it seemed to be deceived for a moment. Could this be linked to the organ tissue I use? Need to check. Just 19. Inconclu inconclusive. I may be able to fool it, but if I come near, nearer, it starts getting agitated. Note. Test with ghost war to increase effect. Test 20. Insufficient. Current ingredients. Could it be the symbols? Test 21. Still not working as expected. Test 22. I believe I'm onto something. We'll find life soon. His final notes sound optimistic. Did he succeed? that in a second because I missed out please Amulet of Akelar Lare Akelera Amphis and Spirit Points cost is decreased by 50 but damage taken by NCS increased by 30 still don't find those useful Lift should work now. A book again. The Agrippa. That's not good. Not good at all. What level of not good are we talking about exactly? This book promises eternal life, but the promise is a trap. Let's hope it hasn't been used. All this is more serious than we thought. I'm apprehensive. Not just because we're going underground. We'll be careful. We don't know what Lamy was up to. And the signs are not encouraging. I feel like we are going into the void. I hope the pizza is good when you get it. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. Smash. Smash. Smash, smash. Ooh. Chest. What 
fuck was that? Camera simply went bonk. Yeah, we are going back back underground. Hello. We'll have you someone been visible for long after I take the house bombs. Another sort of use as a guardian. Oh boy. Oh boy, what you did. <laughs> Two roots, okay. One is up there. Where's the second one? Goes under the ground. Bring it up. I'll bring it up ready. So in case if we have to flee. This is totally fine. This is totally fine. Don't worry about it, Chad. It's okay. Oh, ghost chest. A ghost chest. Oh, right. Oh, this is not where we were supposed to go. <laughs> I thought this was where we were supposed to go. Oh, we are supposed to take the elevator down. Okay. Okay. I feel like we are going to have a boss battle. Yep. Whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo! Ah, you'll be free soon enough, you bastard. A small boss. No. Nobody tests a lot of friends. No, 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 no. Look to me. Time to end this monstrosity. Okay. Okay. We got it. When all this is over, I might retire. You'd miss oh. it. You know you would. Red, come look. Never mind, that's a small boss. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Seems they were used as bait. Is this how we got through the Sorrow's vigilance? He was poking the void? So, here we are. I suppose now, we step into the void. 
Suppose we do. Let me just take a look around before we go. Yes, we are going in the white then, John. Maybe not to make you angry. Sectus Ritual No. Resurrection Ritual. First try December 22nd, 1637. Hey, success! Did not last more than a few minutes. Second try December 25, 1637. Chicken. Success! The chicken lasted much longer than the pig. Was it because of its small size or because less essence? Third try December 27, 1637. Cow. Fail. The carcass was too massive, it seemed. The ritual didn't even work at all. Imagine resurrecting chickens. Ooh. Story time, chat. Story time. We got more lore. According to traditions, only the dead may enter the void, and none shall escape it. But the daplets of the Musaus muse muse bro that preachers exist for the bold pursuers in the burning or frozen desert of the world through. Through, through the many wounds of the earth at impures of forgotten burial sites. The opening of such breaches, however, requires rituals and fortitude. But to contemplate the many secrets of the void, the pursuer shall bypass or confront the guardians of these gates. Baptized Petu, gatekeepers in the ancient tongue, these enslaved guardians and unsatiable watchers, assuming countless glorious forms to perform their tasks for all eternity. And amongst them, the sordid sorrows, twisted and disfigured for their impious pride. The Karkasogos chapters, especially the third and fifth, also specify that many gates may lead to the domain of the unique per Petu. <laughs> Say Peru. Petu, regardless of the path taken. The true pressure may even be able to reveal or breed such preachers. This is the exact translation of the expression found in the original chapters, according to Mother Shipton, and this choice of word unveil so much undreamt atrocities. But how? Traps for the fools hide everywhere in these pages, as in the most forbidden texts which dare to speak about those rituals. I'm not eager to, do to buy devoured I'm not eager to buy devoured or worse and to at the banquet of the white eternal lords, like so many before me, turned into some afflicted sorrow, punished for the thiefy satisfaction of the Galloway's delight to, to please their dreadful queen. E.R. Wait, who was E.R.? E? Is it the French guy? Wait, what? I'll tell you I could give it a try, but this thing needs more than your rugged self, I'm afraid. What? <laughs> Can I join in too? I guess we're gonna learn the last skill after this then because it's this thing is here as well spider web thing and ghost web all right into the void we go john into the void
good look, Rachel. Let's put pain here. Dark rituals, void breach, general weirdness. I mean, can't be far. The ink well. What? Think you can fend for yourself? Works in the void? The wards work well enough. You didn't need to kill so many bots. Demonologists use necromancy. Maybe he thought he'd bring them back when he was done. Red, I can't manifest anymore. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Much better. I think it's awfully calm because of the words. is warded. Dinosaur noises? Us. Stay low. What? Why? 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 Can, can't we just attack them? <laughs> I'm right here, you know. Why not attack? Interesting. Okay. We don't feel like we're gonna see the harvester because there's about the birds. Oh, oh! Big slime boys. the words it's because of the words so we can technically just walk out walk through an Ariadne's thread leading through the void very useful indeed Oh, very useful right until it falls apart. Then you're stuffed like force meat in a turkey. Since Ariadne is dead, I wonder if she can be here. Although she ascended, so... Maybe she's not. 
Creepy hideout. The governor spawn likes a bit of drama. He made his own little hidey hole place in the void. Ooh. <laughs> Obscure technology of writing. Because the operations can be controlled, or at least shepherded, with a variety of known rituals. These must be performed with great care, lest control be seeded. The protein surely has a specific effect, a eligible equation. If the words of the power differs from 0 to 0 0.1 in the intensity and appropriate predictions are not carefully used, this ghost will appear. But it will not print to the demolition's will. This, ha this is to be avoided and on a risk of widespread injuries, death or worse. This is some dark sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. Harris Matt. The hand drawn man Harris which the initial ER two places have been circled upon the male and God's Acre Cemetery. The veil between the Arrel and Incarnate seems to particularly thin these two areas. A breach? Ugh. What is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> so, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Hasker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. Hiding in the void? As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Or oh, plane? World? The Aralu is not easily described, but it makes a fascinating study. Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. Not Caleb Watson. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies <laughs> and was a good listener. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? A pretty tale indeed. You saw his grief as an opportunity. You saw his grief as an opportunity to test the effects of the lesser palingenesis. Oh. You know the ritual too? Amazing, isn't it? I've studied it. The actual ritual. Not the mangled version you gave Caleb. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none owned an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words, and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating. You must mend your ways. Your studies put you in danger. 
Are you aware of what would happen if people learnt of your studies? Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Will you still say that when Pennington accuses you of witchcraft? You must remember Deborah. Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other, we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. Who are you really? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I am a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? You're a demonologist? I think he's past that. Who taught you? You did not find the void breach beneath the mill by accident. You had help. Who taught you? I did my research. Suddenly, you're a man of few words. I'd rather not involve those not present. Discretion, you understand. Your, what, your father is not is on a witch hunt, your life is on line. Your father is on a witch hunt. Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Ah, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them. The very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong. Apart from a little theft. What your demonology studies? You've studied demonology. Did you do it alone? When my father forbade me to continue, I confess I disobeyed him in secret. Those big books were very boring until they were forbidden. Suddenly I could not get enough of their secret knowledge. Funny, eh? More recently, a good friend of my father showed me that I had only been scratching at the surface. He taught you in secret? He taught you in secret? On his visits, I would assist him with the research for the writing of his books. When the curse fell, he fled with thick-skinned Newsmith and left all his work behind. I hope he made it. I'd surely like to one day show him the advances I've made upon his work. What are you doing here? From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Well, Dan Rowling. By the Aralu, do you mean the void? Neither name does it justice. This place is beyond words. The Aralu, Mr. McCraith, is made of the very fabric of our primordial myths. Isn't it amazing? Can you prove it? How can you be sure the void has tainted the region? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. 
I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Yes, we learned of it in Fort Jericho. I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. About the source, about the smell theory, about the state of confusion, about the source. What do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? To find a cure. The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? <laughs> Let's go take a closer look at that ooze then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. But thank you. If you have a oozing crack, you should go see a doctor. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just you're the first ghost I've met, uh, in person, as it were. I don't eat. Not in the way you do. I feel hunger. Again, not in the way you do. Fascinating. And can you touch things, smell them? Are colors the same as you remember them? My senses are different. It's difficult to describe how. I can see, sometimes touch. I cannot smell. Red tells me this is a blessing. How do you manifest in this plane? Do you feel bound or are you here by choice? It feels as if I were clinging to a rope high above the abyss. Even if I wished to let go, I could not bring myself to do it. I see. What about your banisher skills? Can you use them? Do the accoutrements of your craft still work? As a ghost, do they not harm you? The marks on my hands and the rings on my fingers aren't actually there. They have no more effect on me than a memory. Can you talk to any ghost you wish? No. I sense traces of their presence. To talk to them, I must still do the work. And yet here I am, talking to you. How marvelous. The dead are rarely as articulate, nor are they accommodating. In fact, they're often quite rude. We should probably get going. Some other time, then. But we've merely scratched at the surface of the great mysteries. I mean, look around us. We stand here beyond the ultimate frontier. S sorry. I mean to say, yes, Mistress Duarte. He doesn't seem bad. Nami doesn't seem bad, but I, he's, he's a little bit... And there, sus. we should get going. So, the pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. It's dangerous. He used to be... Earth. I used to be his earnest dangerous. The more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is. He found something that he's interested of, but but there's like a... Uh... I don't know that I buy Lamy's hair of the dog theory, but I feel strange, and I suspect the ooze. 
And only one way to find out. Can I touch it? I can't walk over it. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> I need a wee bit of help here. Well, that was not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Okay. Ward, think you can fend for yourself? You think you can fend for yourself? Ward, I'm going to need a hand here. Yeah, I know, I was trying to look for it. around in the night and Is through the breach, it separates like a festering wound. How delightful! You let's see what lies on the other side. Golden. Wee. Where are we now? Underground, looks like. Wonderful. I swear if this is a mine. Can I shoot? But nothing happens. <laughs> I just wonder if I can shoot the ooze. The ooze affects the incarnate too. If you like the game, the game start, you know, where you woke up after a fight in, in, in the beginning. Uh, I mean, there are very many similar uh, kind of. What the fuck is that? There are very many similar kind of caves here. Is that a ghost? I don't know, but I don't think we're alone. The fuck was that? What? What might you be then? Uh, I don't wanna. What was... Oh, shite. Did you... Did you just say shite? You? 
Does it sound like the nightmare? Hello? Your sound, the squishy sound? <laughs> Bigger than I thought it'd be. Is that a house from the Harrows? We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick. Okay, chat. I know it's slimy and disgusting. But, look how smooth it is over the, the reflection. <laughs> look at the reflection. It looks like jelly. <laughs> looks really nice. This game is so odd. Water? Suppose so below. Recent leap increases the damage of next punch attack by 150%. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, there we got the thing to read. Uh, Cotton Mather's pamphlet. And the woman being astonished there it confessed there's things to be true and that she and the other person named in this pre-natural discourse, had had a familiarity with the devil. Being asked whether she had made the express covenant with him, she answered she had not, only as she promised to go with him when he called, which apparently she had sundry times done. Inside the Pandora's box. <sighs> Story time chat. Since the Pandora, Pandora broke the jar, releasing all the proverbial curses upon mankind, epidemics are often considered a punishment or an ordeal imposed by the gods. Struck in their narrow sight, scientists beg to differ and prefer the search for natural causes to many consequences. As often the answer is somewhere else, between these rival conceptions at the same time beyond them. Undoubtedly, all the epidemics do not come from, from preach in the fabric of the incarnate, but the regularity, the periodicity and the malignity of such incidents Words. The malignity of the such incidents through through the world should all be counted as evidence of such breach and influence of the other side. The Avalu, the great below, after all, was in Pandora's true, true name. Avalu, the great below, after all, was in Pandora's true name. And see, Anesidora, she who sends up gifts, as in from within the earth. Healers, doctors, priests, and witches all should search for those signs like the true person do, does. For until the seal of the void is preached oozing of the gifts of the underworld, they will remain like ants trying to stop the forest fire. As long as a blind zealots arresting and hanging sorcerers and worshippers who supposedly spread the disease, when most of the time those cultists assemble the here because oozing gifts called them in the first place, they will be like sheep confusing the sheepdogs with the, with the wolves. Offering opportunities for the true pressure to investigate without being noticed, I suppose. I'm going to love looking for that ill mouth nearby New Eden. ER. Yay. Something's concealed. No, I didn't even realize that there was a campfire here. Yeah, it feels like this would be a perfect place to have a nap. Is it just me or 
I felt it too. Just checking if I have any upgrades for the gear. Something's here. Hidden. Letter from Mamity Gibbs. From Mamity Gibbs, Providence Town. To Antipas and Clemency Gibbs, the Harrows near Eden. Dearest parents, Reuben and I are settled here in Providence. Our home is quaint and quite lovely. You would like it, I think, though perhaps you would argue against the colors of the drapes. We attend the meeting house with rigor. The sermon on day last was particularly beautiful and I'm certain you would have enjoyed it. Men of piety here are yet in New England. In your last letter you mentioned that the farm has seen some trouble. If God tests you, I'm full sure that you will you will pass his examination. However, should you need it, Ruben will be delighted to make you alone. We may also consider a visit should you agree to certain stipulations on your behavior and manner of speaking, particularly to Ruben, who deserves neither wheedling nor side remarks. Your daughter, Amity. This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. <laughs> Gibbs Farm account books. Wall repair, thigh ale and bread candles, apartment of books. Sundry, revenue, ATB8, corn, horns, meat. Thigh Texas ale, bread candles, to repair season food. The main spring, and everything sucked. The Gibbs' land was barren. They were struggling for money. It's blood. Ooh. Spooky to chest. Okay, I was expecting something else from there, but okay. Look up. The ooze. Uh oozed through the very stone. <laughs> yeah, note to Gibbs. Gibbs, I thank you for your note. God himself knows times are hard. Uh, that you could not honor our last order of grain was understandable. We find ourselves in similar position, and upon the deaths of our last cattle, we must cancel our next order. Please find and close the balance of our account, which shall consider closed, at least until better times are coming again. God save us all from this curse. Richard Mellons. And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Was the Gibbs' house targeted by the Ooze? Obviously. Look around you. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs, have you read my paper? I read it, I. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Witch! That was Deborah. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a bit of this. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, oh, but then suddenly more enemies. Yeah. I was gonna say, oh, 
Oh god, they did things to Deborah again. Why must you hurt Deborah? Mrs. Gibbs, I presume. Path back to the house, okay. <laughs> oh boy. The music. The music is so intense. Yeah, I have a feeling we got another boss battle coming up soon. Can I join in too? Yeah, it's going to be with Deborah again. Well, one of her manifestations. People really did bad to her. Even we're really mean to her. <gasps> yeah, I was just testing if I can break it. Manifesting. In here? Oh, shite. I'm back. At long last. Take care. The place is warded. Where's the word? You're on your own. Better. You're welcome. Now let's inspect the body. If there was something in the box. More efficient than cannon powder. <laughs> Expected no less from you, Mrs. I have another in sight. Oh. 
Someone didn't want to stay dead. Clemens and Gibbs diary. Haskell and his town flock are here, fled from their homes. We have room for all in the heralds. There is a mold on the wall near the front door. I saw scrape it off. The mold has turned sickly black and oozes between the boards. The crops such, such as they were have failed. The governor and his band of weak hard souls have brought, brought the curse with them. May the Lord deliver us. The black stuff is everywhere. Walk sick and heart of breathing and bleeding from every orifice you would care to mention. And some of you would not. The devil spits and we are flooded with it. I am minded of seven years ago when Blake last hit. I pray to God to grant me Clemens Clemen Gibbs and my loyal, moderately capable husband Antipas the wisdom of once again out the once again out the witch. God will not help us because the governor uses magic. His boy, what's his name, the idiot, he put the pagan children by, by the house. I tore it down. Antipas said he saw Haskell throw something in the well, and then the earth shook. What are the Haskells up to? Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what Deborah was saying. Well, the Gibbs are not at home to rational explanations. Seek fluid and aid. Thank you, That's unfit for us to cross. Well, I had to try it. Try to find a way across. I'm on it. I don't know, I was shooting at something over there. See anything? Either the water table is full of ooze. Or oh, there's another source. Let's search upstream. Yeah, you're so crampy. Over there. Oh, loose of little buggers. Wait, hold on. There's a more efficient than cannon powder. There's a thingy over there. Ah, god damn it. I think it's a doll. Let's get a doll. Your powers. Can I have a tattoo like that? <laughs> I want I want a tattoo like that. That'd be so cool. I wonder how it looks like up, like how far it goes. Does it go like up to your, past your wrist or? I got out there. I don't. Ah, uh, I don't wanna.
don't step in that. I mean it. We'll find a way around that. Step in what? Step in what? Wards, you're on your own. Those echoes are hearing all the shadows speaking. They always appear near the ooze. So do the whispers. But which came first? Mine of both. Oh, he touched it with his hand. <laughs> the whispers say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. Hmm. I thought it would be Deborah. This looks perfectly drinkable. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. What is the source? Because I have no clue that right now. So I thought it would be Deborah. Deborah's manifestation, but no, I don't know for sure. Okay, the last doll is over there, but we also did find the ghost chest. Something wicked is tied to this. Mm-hmm. Of going shades around from somewhere. Ew. Country is rotten to the core. And you're just now reaching this conclusion? If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. Ah, oh, okay. They're getting very snappy at each other. Whoever it was, it looks like the ooze got them. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. 
Oh my god. Antia, please, not the time. This must be Antipas Gibbs. Hell of a fall to live through. Now join in any time, Antia. What do you think I'm doing? Trying me to go here, but um, I assume that's where I'm to go, anyway. Yeah, it's telling me to go this way. Is it just me, or...? I felt it too. Right, there we go. Okay, it didn't trigger earlier for some reason. Right. This is God's land. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children know it. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye, many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, aye, and many want to see her dead. Did we miss a few? No. Get okay. they brought more friends. Ow! Oh, I didn't even see you there. They never learn, do they? Those things came from the ooze. They're like those oriental shapeshifters we fought in Bremen. Or back in Equify. This is something else. The ooze reacted to our presence. The Gibbs were so angry. Pure, entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the ooze. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since we got here. Something's toying with us. I think they made the ooze. I don't think the ooze made them. We can't leave yet. I know, but let me... I just went to grab the campfire. <laughs> this is it. This is the source. How do we get to it? Someone's left us a fire camp to use. I'm just gonna light this up to get it. Oh 
Ja. Okay, so that's the way we are gonna go anyway. If I miss out anything in here now. We are... I think we are getting close to the end of this chapter. I wanna believe. I just wanna believe, Jet. I just wanna believe. Something tells me this is the condemned well. Do you think you could get that bucket down? Oh! Oh my god. This is the end of the chapter? Yes, as in this area. A vivid memory from the dead is somewhere near. I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. The devil still breathes to her mouth. We are cursed, and you are sterling. Clemency, Antipas, please. The woman has been jailed. As per custom, she will face trial, and justice will be brought to this community. Coming from a magic user himself. But can you or your demonologist discernment really be trusted? Dare you insinuate such blasphemy? I'm a man of faith. Do what God commands of you. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be consequences. Enjoy the pizza, Spen. Erin and Thurmin. A set of Erin and Thurmin. Uh, Thurmin? Thurmin? Fools, divination, and clar claromancy. Thought to reveal the will of God. The governor used Urim and Thummim, and that made his flock suspicious. Divination stones. He must have thrown them down the well when he sealed it. But why now? It's a raid. He's hiding evidence. He's afraid. He's afraid. The Earth took the Gibbs house. Perhaps he thought he was a target too. The Gibbs had a hand in rigging the witch trial, but he was the one who sealed it. That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. For his son's safety and his own, Haskell must have feared the suspicious mob. Okay, huh. because it seemed did seem like that they were threatening his son. All right. Lick it, chat. Oh, this can't be good. If we speak, so you listen.
Oh, bye. Inquisition Court. I'm not witch hunter. I am no witch hunter. Never was. Oh my god! It's the slimes, chat. The droplets are here. <laughs> they want their vengeance. Bloody hell! Is that me? A cheap trick. What? Ah, please. Hell just came out of that shadow. It's working. Keep at it. enough oh I'm supposed to touch it uh, touch here we go So dangerous. Ghosts are dangerous, and I've no reason to show mercy. Oh god, it's the same powers as I do. Come on, little slime. <laughs> we use rituals to help the living, not curse them. Magic is only a tool. Myself. <laughs> no, you so like the shadow's got its strength back. Don't let the ooze get back to its shadow. <sighs> Ow! Was they expect your strikes do nothing. Come on. I ought to face myself. Yeah, try. Just won't do. I think this one is mine. Idiot chat.
We had defeated the bad slime. Enough. Can we please get out of here? Hold on, we got some new stuff. I want to see how it looks like. Oh, Governor Haskell's quail. The quail Governor Haskell used to sign Deborah's death warrants. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Just... Blessed garb. Melee attack and bunch of animations after increased by 10% for each manifested in cold. What does it look like? Oh, it's a white version of the shiny. That's the one we got here. Leviathan Sigil. If you think anyone with punch attack, tear resist the next damage taken by 90%. Oh, nice. I don't really need that. Let's go confront the governor Haskell. The governor. That was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced. But all I feel is beaten. We're powerless. I feel judged. We're powerless. I feel powerless. I were always one move behind. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such spectre of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Ignorance caused this. Task of covered caused this. Ignorance. Ignorance caused this. A raging epidemic drove them out of their minds. Unable to look within, they pointed the finger. And so a terrible ghost was born, and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. Oh boy, Jack. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. According to our map, the treasure can't be far. <laughs> and yeah, it's not time to go look for a treasure, okay? Just, just no! All <laughs> the steam work. That down there it was 
I was tense. I was impatient. The infamy's doing, not yours. No, no. Doesn't change the feelings. I never thought I could feel such anger again. They were Deborah's feelings, not yours. And also I was thinking like, what if Nightmare is actually just another, I mean she probably is, uh, Deborah's manifestations, which she, she most surely is. Because each area seems to have one. How refreshing it is to the soul to be at once thus delivered of that which was so much its trouble. One thing above all else, my friends, is true. The wicked are at odds with themselves. Oh good. His latest sermon. We haven't missed it. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell while piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in his name, they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith, my friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now, the wicked man never questions... I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. It's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people hear. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the banisher speak. Hey! <laughs> Tell them, Red. Tony is the good. best. Ah, there's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? Story of a man, story of a woman. Story of a woman? It tells the story of a woman, a teacher. Living peaceably among friends until there came a plague. In fear, the good people went to their governor. The devil walks among us, they said, and you must save us or we will find someone who will. This governor knew he could not save them, but he could give them a witch. The train band captain shackled the schoolteacher and locked her away. She would confess, or she would be judged. Deborah Comenius was a witch, Mr. McCraith. She was the devil's tool, and worse, much worse. Trial was not fair. You believe yourself a great occultist. Trial was not fair. The trial was not fair. You had no proof, and you knew it. Credible witnesses gave believable testimony, sir. Witnesses like Gibbs, who pressured you into a guilty verdict to avoid being suspected of witchcraft yourself. There was pressure, I'll not deny it. But I did what I did to protect the colony. It was a difficult time. 
You believe he's just a great occultist. The picture of yourself that you hold in your mind is that of a great occultist. To repel the devil, the wise and fearless man must learn the black spy's tricks. My PC is making a lot of noise. <laughs> Are you the true demonologist? Ever wondered what lurks behind the veil? Are you a true demonologist? Do you then consider yourself a true demonologist? In order that a war be just, three things are necessary. Firstly, the authority of the sovereign. Secondly, a just cause. Thirdly, a rightful intention. Aye, the Summa Theologiae of St. Thomas Aquinas, a classic quote from which you have conveniently omitted an important detail, to wit, a just cause is required, namely that those who are attacked should be attacked because they deserve it on account of some fault. Ever wondered what lurks beyond the veil? Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the veil, past the hem, beyond the invisible? Have you ever heard of the Aralu? What gibberish is this? No. Your good friend Etienne Roulet did not, it seems. They knew worthy of his secrets. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> You're a pompous coward. You're a pompous coward. Fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. What do you really want? What do you really want, Governor? I wish only to serve. I am the trusted servant of the good people of New Eden. Without me, they're lost. Without them, you would be lost. Yes. Maybe I do need them. A very human of me. But these people undoubtedly need me, Mr. McCraith. And there is no one else. Toy with magic. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract, I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more, no thanks to you. Aha! Poison it was then. The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it, Belladonna, Hemlock, Foxglove? Betrayal! Truth unspoken, secrets and lies, wrongs basically, your wrongs. The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius. The wrongs that led to her death. She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. It was not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. Oh boy, Chad. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Should we spare him? Should we spare Governor Fairfax Haskell? He's been so good to everyone. <laughs> hmm, this is such a tough, tough one. So tough one. You sacrificed him? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> oh my. Maybe we will sacrifice him. Goodbye. You had the power to stop <laughs> the madness. But instead, you chose to let it run all the way to its barbaric conclusion. You brought the curse down on New Eden. Then you called we banishers in to fix your mistake. You boast of your knowledge of demons and spirits, but in truth, you master nothing. 
You're a peacock. All show and no meat. I'm not here today to bring justice. But this man, your governor, brought death to your doors. <laughs> he deserves blaming. Shame on me if I don't do it. It's best. No. Friends, have I ever not served the interests of our community? Have I not protected you? Have I not loved you? Oh, this is such a cool shot. Oh my god. This is oh, that looks amazing. No, she wasn't the Punisher. Is the evil gone for good? Far from it. Then who will protect us? I will. While Mr. McCraith fights the curse of New Eden, I will protect the people of the Harrows. Or at least, I'll try. Now let's all return to our homes and pray for forgiveness. And uh, no, let me go. I know, right? To bear the consequences hey, let of our me. <laughs> Are you looting him? Your father? Your fee. <laughs> he did. <laughs> One of the many debts my father left me. <laughs> You'd best put your own debts first, young Master Haskell. Don't I know it? After all this, don't forget to rest. Exactly, chat. Exactly, chat. Let's go take a nap. Let's see where does it lead us next and where we continue next time. I went past it. <laughs> He no longer the lament, he now the man. <laughs> lament is the lament. Lummy! Lummy, our best buddy. Yeah. We have learned a new skill fusion. Antia can merge with red to deal increased damage for a short time. This allows the couple to tear through powerful specter webs. Nice. It's just gone where you go. Oh no. That tends to happen. You see, anyone with a rifle increases the damage of next heavy attack by 30. So, there's a difference. Anyone with charged heavy attacks refills the bandit's gorge. Sure. 
Entangled, uh, and it's now gains one more projectile. Well, thumbs up, defending enemy with anti arresters 5% health points. Patient damage taken is reduced by 15, blah. Vanishing damage will severe shown and cause by 25. Seeing enemy with anti arresters is manifest in cooldowns by one second. By one second! <laughs> If you think with the manifest is reduced, the next damage taken by 90%. Let's put that one percent. So, what now? What did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, bright, sensitive, kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? You said to yourself, people hate that they cannot understand. They know no better. They know only fear and hate what they cannot understand. Especially when a woman is involved. It matters not now anyway. A woman died for nothing and it matters not? That's not what I meant. But the lassie is dead. All we can do now is try to give her her rest. Perhaps she does not want to rest. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. Though I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother and experience curandera and listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. This has been hard for you. For me too. Perhaps we should think of how far we've come together and take heart. I am dead, Rory. I am dead, and sooner will be gone for good. You think I don't know this? So act like they don't make this about you. Act like it? So act like it! I'm not the enemy here. Look. All this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered or what we have achieved or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. <sighs> Good night. Is she? Where did she go? Can she just go like that? 
Wait, she can just leave? <laughs> Oh, I can feel, imagine how uncomfortable it is to have a gun on your back while sleeping. I would have gone with you. Not funny. I have to walk to that stupid bloody island. 